life from the Прощение за бутылки. So we're going to sell both of those. Very rare revival item. And pretty much the only way we're going to be reviving this game. Да, мы, короче, схватили от Руджини. Полезное приобретение для нашего отряда. Как покемонов их будем собирать. Потом, да. Ну тут уникальная механика, я не могу ее сравнивать с покемонами, там, с мигами и танцами или чем-то еще. То есть, в принципе, все, все механики, которые тут введены, они все разработчики, короче, они реально запарятся над игрой. Очень много пазлов всяких было придумано, очень много всяких. Механик. То, как они работают, это, конечно, мое почтение. Ну, Изоплекс со следующей уже не берет. Да. Раскидывают их обилки. Очень быстрый меню, кстати. Прям вообще. Ну, это не то же самое, но мы не покупаем капу. Капу дает вам больше дефенса, но это слишком дешево, и мы брошены. Окей. Вот такая деревенька, но в ней не задерживаемся. Комплексы... Плекс немного задерживается в бою, да и его плюсер тоже. Следующее Следующее Короче, мы перезагружаем интересно There's a second uh, Ginny for, um, for, for Ivan, and there are lower level enemies than over in Mercury Lighthouse. This is the intended way to go. Come here, find out the problem, search elsewhere to solve it and come back. Um, however, the developers did know that you could do it in any order. So if you come here later on, if you do it in Mercury Lighthouse first, you can meet the party, she has dialogue in this cutscene. So by not getting her, it speeds up this cutscene. Further to this, we're doing this cutscene in Kolima Forest and not in Kolima Village. In Kolima Village, the characters will walk around and have searched the village before the cutscene plays, which increases the length of this cutscene. So doing it here is act actually faster. Um, you know, I should note that there are these synergy shields that come down and are protecting um, the guys. Never see it again in, in the series. Don't ask, doesn't matter. Um, So we're going to be going into Colima Forest. Uh, it doesn't really, really it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to grab this apple. The apple is a strength increasing item. 
and it affects the base. По-моему, типа секунд на 30 плеча впереди. So Plex are running through um, the yeah. basement. He's making his way over Именно to the так. second Venus Jenny granite. Now this is the reason we're doing this as well. It's genuinely faster to come out of our way and do these minutes of cutscenes and come and get granite for a couple of reasons. Granite is, is a busted Jenny, and it also allows us to unlock the secondary tier of, of Venus summon Ramses. Granite on use так. is a priority Ginny, which means that when you use Granite, Mancal, you will go at the top of the turn, regardless of who you use, regardless of the speed of the user, it's a priority. Boom. Хотя нет, so uh, Granite is slow as Molasses, doesn't have any Ginny, so it's like a But this is what we're saying, we pull two Ginny together to get Ramses, which is a much stronger summon, and rather than a 10% elemental increase, we get a 4% elemental increase, further increasing the damage to the Ginny with the boost abilities. Они же его по разному местам пробегают. Так что сейчас уже все эти энкаунтеры. Но в принципе, энкаунтер достаточно схожий в ДФ, несмотря на то, что здесь игра в Гугле много готова. Поэтому тут очень сложно отыграться пока что. Пока что так это и выглядит. Yeah, it, it's quite nuts. This is where we're talking about variants, right? These encounters and failing to flee is just pain. It's it's ah, pain. Well, the um, um, uh, 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 at the sea. Dot. Jpeg. That's all. Man. Well, the food. Um, the food. 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 Um, so flee chance. Let's talk about that. I was talking about how it's calculated. However, when you fail to flee, you well, get a flank of 20% chance. And that's not like if it's 50%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. And you fail to flee, you get a flank of 20%. Bluzer is getting bodied. <laughs> We're talking like you know choke slam. <laughs> like point <laughs> now, off, the ropes, off the ropes, just kind of like body slam. Stop! Um, stop! He's already dead. Flexer <laughs> <laughs> is in. Go. Flexer is in Billibin Cave. Вот заходит еще деревню и сразу выходит из нее. И вот идет дальше, смотрите, никаких энкаунтеров. О, окей. Забейте, это вот это вот точно рандомно было сейчас очень жестко. Вероятность от этого вот эта встреча была очень маленькая. Но она произошла. Она все еще есть, да. Some we don't. So we are going to be getting as much experience as we possibly can at this point. Some of the runners maybe will be fleeing when we get to uh, Mercury Lighthouse because they're nuts. Just there, 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 there is a reason to do that because of how um, damage works out because of the apple. Um, but yeah, we want to get a couple of levels. We want to get level five on Ivan and level four on on the on the other two just as soon as possible. This puts Isaac in a position to outspeed as well as certain enemies as well as Ivan to outspeed particular enemies as well. Um, it should be noted that we're also shifting around the Jin locations. We're actually putting Gust onto Isaac, um, and I guess it gets shifted around to Garrett as well to ensure particular um, outturns. There is a there is an argument for shifting it around. So right now it's on it's on Isaac. Um, I I've never the words I was looking for for ages, and they finally got they finally arrived. Where, where Plexa turned to me and said, "Bowie, you were right." And I was like, но в принципе блюсер там используется эти атаки нормально нормально Only going to get two on the way to Emil, looking pretty nice. Single Mauler for Bluzer, that's a nice encounter, nice and quick, not, not too much to worry about. It was a CBS though. Um, so, two attack types, we'll bring it up now. CBS and attack first, or T CBS and AF. Attack first is a preemptive... What about Lost Cat? Lost oh yeah, Lost Cat. 
Lost Cap, please post your Lost Caps in chat now. Uh, Lost Cap is a fantastic thing. Нашли, короче, запросняли шляпу, потеряли снегу и так. Oh, okay. Had enough, mate. Well, they don't worry about spawning chat. Attacks versus preemptives, which means that you can just guarantee your flee. This is really good at late game. If you get late game AFs, you save like 20 seconds plus. Um, CBS is a caught by surprise, which means that the enemies get the preemptive on you, so which means that end game you die. Um, and if it comes to um, like early game, you lose a bit of time, but it's never, you never want to see a CBS. Забавное место с льдом. What is Lost Cap? Lost Cap is that Normally you're meant to use the right That fairy, the ply sprite, I know that you're gonna have to do it. Yeah, or with other gems, or other characters, or other characters. In fact, the more gems, the better. In Shining Force 3, in Shining Force 3, in Shining Force 3, in Shining Force 3, you meet up with Gabriel, who's in the beginning screen of the game. He has a little fairy companion with him. He sends Primula, that fairy, with you. She's an amazing healer and also has the attack spell. And she says wonderful things like, attack you, when she casts it. It's wonderfully cute. But that sprite is Primula from Shining Force 3. And I always talk about that because it's very important. Anyway, lost cap. Uh, if you press move and move the stuff, it blocks короче, the way so you can get to the idea they didn't plan you to do anything else. Deals, 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 Anyway, Shining Force 3 is a fantastic strategy RPG, one of the best strategy RPGs ever, ever made alongside Shining Force 2. There's no, there's not a better strategy RPG, try and change my mind, play them. Um, welcome to the Mercury Lighthouse. Um, this is Mia, she's awesome, she's got wonderful hair, and she's a healer. And no, she she is a hero. We love her, she's a great. Um, however, she struggles with things, she will be my so she has to use a move synergy to move it, and she will cast Primula again. Um, and we're going to save her a bunch, and then, then she'll join and join our party. But she's very, very important. She, she is a Mercury adept, Bowie. That's why she is impressed by move, because every single Mercury adept in the series is impressed by it. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Piers loves it. Amity's a little bit ooh as well. So yeah, they they don't they just don't stop and, being. And wow, the dudes quite. in Lemuria. Oh uh, yeah, and the dudes in Lemuria too. Yeah, they're just like wow. What is this ghostly hand? Um, yeah. They love it for some reason. Uh, so Lizard Man is very, very simple. Ramses, Kirin. You can do flex strats based on whether or not you need to menu or not. If you don't need to menu, and you're fine, just go straight in. But if you do need to set things up, you can set the menu up differently and do a different strategy depending on what you need to do. Um, when I say flex strats, it's flexible, not flex as in like check me out, not fl not tl underscore flexer. Oh, oh. Which really, which leads me to the next big mechanic in this game and the next big glitch in this game. Um, Plexa actually has Isaac's PP very low. Ha ha ha, PP, I get it. Synergy points, get over it. I'm going to be saying PP a lot. Um, retreat casts 6 PP. However, ah, it's really cool when it's a So, because we can hotkey retreat, there's a cool thing that's going to happen. We're going to cast retreat, but it's not going to work because we didn't have enough PP. But we, but we tried to cast retreat, and the game went, yeah, you cast retreat. So, there we go. What's happening here is the game, when we cast retreat, the game thinks we're in a different room, basically, because we don't go anywhere. Короче, мы можем варпаться по комнатам. But the moment you say yes, если мы забиндим ретрит на, so it puts you back to the beginning screen of the dungeon you entered on. So when you go to door, короче, у нас есть обилка ретрит, которая позволяет нас выкидывать начало данжера. Но если мы ее забиндим, мы окей. И при этом у нас не будет мана. И если сделать вот эту штуку в разных определенных местах, то мы можем много сломать игру. Можем много сломать игру. И при переходе там в двери мы окажемся... Ну, мы, короче, телепортируемся очень сильно. Есть как нибудь какой сердце? Oh, you say that? Oh, well, you're going to now because that's those two. Yeah, there are some fights you don't want to flee from because you will just die. But also, there's actually one of the fights you don't want to flee from. Those that fight is like one of the scariest. 
Really? So is this one, by the way. Yeah, yeah this Cuddle is uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, this is Sleet. Sleet is powerful. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do plasma fever. It's such an important fight because he can sleep and heal. He's gonna have a, li a little bit of extra damage that fever can deal a bit more. And Kieran coming out from Garrett. This is we're making this, this a two turn fight some. because Mia out turns because she's yeah, in the Jupiter um, class right now, which has increased speed. So she out turns. Make that a two turn with the Ramses on the second turn um, to go again. Well, so we're, we're going to have the same thing coming out from Blueser, Plasma, Fever, and Kieran. Well, now, well, the very important thing as well. We're going to do a normal re retreat as well back. Um, when we, Kieran, we didn't have enough. P um, Ginny summon uh, ready. We only had one Ginny standing by, so we couldn't cast summon. However, we know for a fact that Isaac goes first, so we use Fever with Isaac to stand by a second Ginny. So when Garrett's turn comes around, we have the Ginny requirement. That is a massive element of flexibility in this game's battle system, which sets this game apart as just an absolute cracker. The flexibility of that system to work in that way is really important. Now, the next boss fight coming up is Saturos, a really important boss okay, fight. Okay, just a boss fight. And Sam, after this boss fight, I'll bring you in for some. Um, yeah, we can actually. I've been going. I've been crying. Yeah, правильно. Правильно. Мы на маяке вот это. Really, really do apologize. Которые должны поддерживать наш мозг. The setup is right now that we have both the Venus and Mercury Ginny spread between Isaac and Garrett. Isaac has Flint. Garrett has Granite. Isaac has Fizz, and then Garrett has Sleet. And that means that we can put all of the Fire Ginny. On to, what, what have you done? You didn't use the mint, did you? Bluezer has level 5 Isaac for Satoros. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Good luck, buddy. Good this luck. is a different thing. Um, so, yeah, th th I think this is where the apple strap's coming onto, um, onto uh, mm -hmm. Isaac helps here as well to kind of cover no, some Blue, ranges. Blue got extremely unlucky to not get level 6. Like, Damn. there's like it's a ten experience when it was a lot of things like that, where uh, we just have to take the chance to go to the The biggest difference is he won't have Spire for this fight, and he'll have Earthquake. Yeah. Right. Plus, generally less of Ivory. That's a good one. Flash. It's... Oh, it's yeah. worried about the damage. Yeah. I, have a, I have a Crystal Powder, but yeah, the, it's the... Oh, nice. Okay. It's the getting yeah, wrecked for them. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. With the wrong That's seed, fair. anything can happen. That's fair. Um, so the, the rest of the setup as well is that we have double fire Ivan. This puts Ivan in the <laughs> makes him really fast and really tanky specifically. Funnily enough, he's normally a wet paper bag, but now he is a, 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 actually going to be our tank. And Mia is in Jupiter class. To well. to now, the focus is going to be Mia Alita. summoning Mia Reed whenever she can. She's, uh, boosted on that one, and then obviously Isaac summoning Ramses. Saturos so has a set pattern. Attack, heat flash, fireball. Attack, fireball, heat flash, attack, eruption. The first turn is going to go as such. Ramses, granite, slash, nereid. To put as much damage as possible. Granite is going to reduce the damage taken by the entire party by 50%. This is why he's busted. He's busted. Everyone's going to be, be uh, looking kind of nice. Um, nereid comes out, 154 damage, plus 30 to Mia's water power. Slash comes out, got some super with, heat flash. Okay, that could be an attack follow-up. It could be a fireball follow-up, so we have to plan accordingly. Skip um, my show. I'm we, we're going to know where we are on the turn order after the second turn. So Prism coming out is going to be uh, boosted. We're having a heal coming out from Ivan as well to make sure that Isaac is fully healed on that side and then as much damage as possible elsewhere. Right, let, let's have a look at the eruption coming up next for um, Plexa. He has to be quite careful there. So the first turn coming out from Blueser. We'll keep an eye on that one just to see what Saturos does. Eruption comes out, good defense. Um, Mia and Ivan, that's really good that it's only two targets there. Very important to note that because it's going to be two single targets. Okay, well, right, 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 which is very, very lucky. Fireball for Bluezer. Okay, so he's going to be going from Fireball to Attack. Perfect as well. End target, so we're only targeted three enemy, uh, three characters, not four. Very, very nice. Uh, so there's Flint. There's no Granite. It's going to be an attack from um, Garrett here for, for Plexa. So well, короче, the основном мы тремя персонажами убьем. Which means that he does the support. Of, the usage of, um, of all of these um, Ginny. I'm going to leave Plexa for a moment. I'm going to come over to Bluezer. Um, so Sleet, uh, again, he, he's going to be on a different one. So he just saw the attack coming out. 
Комплехи, конечно, дали ваши силы. So there's Nereid coming out, and then it's going to be Ivan healing Garrett to make sure that Garrett doesn't die. Herb's going to be enough. Here comes the second fireball. Three targets again. Perfect. Very, very lovely. Now this is important for Heat Flash. Um, Ivan can survive Heat Flash. Mia and Garrett. Normal, там, конечно, босс. It's very important to know your damage, so that you know who's going to, who's in danger of, of, of a move or not. It goes on to Ivan. Complete, там, пацан с негативным. Ну, кстати, у Блюсера теперь тоже. But physically, a back is going to be fine. Yeah. We'll leave Bluesa for now. Go back over to Plexa very, very quickly. Fireball coming out. I think that's the first fireball, uh, so he should be quite close. Oh, to this fight. Ramses comes mm. out. That should be the fight. Prism Ramses coming out from the top two. Yeah. That's the fight. Oh, that's such a well. It's a trossa. Plexa. Just missing out on sub one twenty though. Um, no, the toning was. Well, he, 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 Ну, Плекса знает, что делать. Хорош. 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 Um, obviously, runners want to look for a sub 120, and if you're an absolute madman, a, one, a sub 119, a 118 Turos is bloody good. Um, so a mid 120 is fantastic. Um, with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest my voice, and I'm going to throw it over to Sam for some donations. Seeing as the intro is 40 minutes, it's time for a history lesson to pass the yeah, time. Yeah, but it's very long. Camelot used a magic flint to light the ember that forged Golden Sun from the ground up. It blew up a gust and brought a flash, a fresh breeze. Yeah, no, what the 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 now, we're fevering for a new game. Camelot, take the dew out of our eyes and rise the mist on that fourth game with a flash. I must be getting older because the story keeps getting longer. Ну, довольно... That's it for me. Wish I could watch it Чайно. live if it wasn't for Corona. Good luck on the run, Plexa and Bluzer. First try cracking. <laughs> thank you very much for those lovely donations. Uh, yes, thank you very much. All of those Ginny, you know, the that. Ginny names in there, and there is a Ginny called called uh, Corona. So, <laughs> uh, interesting how that works out. I, I, I you, am you, going to go for oh, a yeah, code, by the way. Uh, so please, people who pledged money for that, um, <coughs> looking at you, future, looking at you, FX. Mm -hmm. If you, mm -hmm. if you have some more, Sam, we have, we do have a little bit more, a little bit, bit more time. Um, or, or, or you sure. to read as well. All right, we have a nine dollar and ninety cent donation from Robo Sparkle. Thank you so much for that generous donation, no comment. Also, we do still have the job simulator, all jobs, bouncy job mod. Bid still in effect here. We are at we are less than three hundred twenty dollars away from reaching that thousand dollar goal. So if you'd like to see that during um a pathetic's run, get your donations rolling in now. Thank you. Elemental stars play through this moment. Okay, Plexa, is he gonna go for the uh, the time neutral swagalicious fast drop? Fine. Let's go. Ah, there oh, go. there it is! Perfect. Um, oh, so fast, fast drops and fast climbs are super nice. Just quickly, going to do a quick uh, menu here to put um, two Mercury onto Isaac. This puts him into oh, Defender no, class, the Tier 2 Swordsman uh, class, which gives him Ply, but also gives him a Ply, which is going to be helpful in some cases. Uh, just reset the encounter on him, because it does, help, it, does mean, it doesn't give you a bonus chance to get a running to run back. That may not happen here. Um, is Blues going to go for it? He does not. He does what I do, right? Where you, uh, you, 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 you get on the yeah, you, 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 you give it one go, yeah, yeah. Literally one go. Um, 
how instant climbing and instant dropping works is that you push one direction for let me guess it's it's 13 right 13, direction, 13 frames one direction and on the 14th frame the opposite direction because the basically what you do is in 13 frames of input up to kind of get off the ladder starts the animation to get off but then you press down on the immediate frame it starts to get off the ladder you can do that going up you can do that going down um, doesn't save too much time but it's pretty sweet не дают сходить. Еле дали сбежать. Блюсер, кстати, вот уже вынужден прожать там пилочку. Опять же, опять же, такой же файт. Почему-то вот у Блюсера там на одного врага больше. Are you alright there, buddy? What's going on? This is this. Okay, I got two quads. Both failed three times. Oh yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Um. So, a void was used by. Так-то урана они все одинаково делают. Плюс еще вообще он тоже не такой. The Pokemon heads out there works like Rapel. Um. When you cast a void. You need to make sure that your party's average level is higher than the enemy yeah, level of the area you're in. If that is the case, if party average level equals more than suit. enemy party level, then Brian, the encounter um, steps are taken. Be, uh, no, like steps don't Brian, um, So uh, the world map here is all uh, encounter free, and the first uh, screen... Uh, Avoid ran out, but we're not going to uh, recast uh, it. Um, it's Ren's it, choice, you can yeah, recast it, it does yeah, work on the screen. It. This first screen it does work on if you're uh, a lower, uh, you can sometimes if you have enough encounters and you get enough experience, Ivan will hit um the level we want him to hit eight a little bit early. Um, if he does, he'll learn plasma, which is why we know he's there. But if he does it shifts the entire party's average level up to level eight. Um, and it means that we can then essentially skip encountering the entirety of this dungeon because an um, enemy level in dungeons increases as you go into the dungeon for, for, for most dungeons. I, I, I am, there might be some dungeons that's not the case, but generally the first screen will be a little bit easier, then it will get worse and worse as you go in. Um, so it's level 6 for the first screen and level 7 for the rest of the screen. So you need to be level 8 in order to avoid it. Um, it used it used to be a thing where you try and go for level eight if you knew you could, um, but it it works out on average faster just to flee. So there's this thing, obviously expected value, right? Where we have um, two options, and it's just it may work out better for us to do one strategy than another on average. It's not worth the extra time to get Ivan the extra experience he needs if you don't come out. Well, like, normally you need to be level seven going into Turos. To have a chance. Начинает Otherwise, you don't bother. Um, a couple of fail flees there for Plexa. Makes his way to the oh, Willow. He's going for the, it. The... Yeah, of course I'm going for it. He's going to try and get the remote access. There's a very particular pixel he's looking for. There we go. You don't have no, to. No, do... it's not a pixel. It's not a pixel. It's not a pixel. Okay, so. Isaac has eight directions he can face, but there are actually 16 directions. Um, it's just that a bunch of them overlap. So if you are on the up left but slightly facing down pixel, you can access that chest from that pixel location. Pixel. Which is really, really strange. It took me a long time to figure that out. Um, but it's getting that fur coat relevant in the any percent save and quits um, run, which is now ACE. Uh, because the ACE is done using your defense value, and it's just a really convenient thing to have. And please, if you're in the Golden Sun Discord, like uh, those guys, um, please clip that and uh, tag FX in future so they cough up the dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Money! Mm -hmm. um, money, money, money. Yeah. Plex is then entering Treachery, uh, where it's a level 7 start on the levels, and then we're going to go um, into level 8 from here on out. So, um, this is Treachery, which we could have done earlier if we, if we really wanted to. There are two goals in here. You're going to grab a second Ginny uh, of the Jupiter variety, Breeze, um, and that will give us access to Atalanta, the Tier 2 Wind Summon. Very, very lovely. Um, and Ivan will obviously... Oh, he's going for another one. Uh, okay, that's fair. Um, and then we're going to go and fight Tret. Now, the reason we go in... Well, obviously, we go and grab Granite so we can do a fast yeah, tour so we can get the, uh, the Spring Water or the Hermes water, rather, um, from the Mercury Lighthouse and bring it over here to save Tret. 
I didn't, didn't really talk about it back in the, at the time because it didn't really feel that relevant at the time. Could we go and do it now? Um, and that's Tret it wasn't always an angry tree. He turned the people of Colima to trees because um, after the eruption at Mount Aleph, when we went inside um, Ooh, the Mount Aleph, very nice, very nice. Uh, Flex thank you, thank you. Showing, showing stuff. Um, went inside uh, when we were in Soul Sanctum. It uh, caused another earth and an, another eruption, and synergy stones were like thrown throughout. Was that an, an attack first on? It was. Yon Breeze, hello. Shoutouts to the guy who I'm dedicating my name to. Jimmy, you beat the Yeah. His name is not Avu. No, it will make sense on the next one. It will make sense, yeah. So yeah, new strats for 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 Breeze, very lovely. I'm not sure if yeah. Breeze is going to do the stick to the old ones. The old ones are very very simple. Just they're just three summons, nice and easy. But oh, oh, hello. A Quinn. Is that what it is? Oh, those encounters are awful. Mm, we got away. Um, we got a stun onto Ivan, but he didn't die, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, we got um, Blues are coming up to the Breeze fight. We're going to see how that's going to go. Um, so we did mention earlier that Ginny can flee, and this can be anywhere between, you know, a three second or a five second time loss, or a minute time loss. Not kidding. Um, some flees are brutal, and it's a bit mean. Um, so we'll see if Breeze plays nice for Blueza as he goes into the fight now. So what he's going to do, yeah, he's going to do the uh, yeah, um, Ramsey's Kieran uh, defend with Ivan and then near Breeze with me. This, this, um, because Ivan's the only one that can outturn, we let um, Breeze go first. We'll see if he gets the run before we use our summons. Uh, so that looks that works fine. Nothing happened as we have Plexa entering the or about to start the cutscene before the Tret fight. So this fight's a little yeah, bit different. We're going to have a nice little setup here. We have Flint and Fever over uh, on Isaac. Um, I'll, let him, I'll let him focus on this particular strat quickly. Let's get that done. Uh, Sleet Gust, um, Granite Fizz, and Gust and Breeze. Okay, so um, this is an interesting strat. We're going to be just like peppering enough damage to kind of like hope we can get through. We haven't got Plasma on Ivan, so we're going to start with Atalanta on Ivan. Uh, we're going to do Kieran with Mia. Fever with Isaac. Right now, Isaac outturns Mia because he's currently um, in brute class because because of Fever being set right now, which is a fast thing. So Fever goes first, Mia then summons Kieran, and then we have Garrett uh, using. Um, so it's the tier two fire. Also, we put Mia into slot one. Attack, nice, no sleep start. That's what we want to see. So turn two is going to be. Um, uh, I didn't see quite see that one. That one. That one there. It should be Flint. It should be Ramsey's. Yeah, there, and then Flare Wolf. Put out as much damage into the first two turns as possible, so we get an easy turn on turn three. Ooh, not too bad, I think. It was, it was enough damage that should be okay. Um, plasma defense that should be enough. Yeah, Ooh, okay. Maybe a follow-up. Um, yeah, let's come in to add one turn to the fight. Um, right, let's do that. No flash bolt. That should no, be enough. Okay. Gust. Okay, got the kill. There we go. Um, Gust came back. To, yeah, Gust came back to make Garrett fast enough to outturn. So Gust is nice there. A bit of an unfortunate one on the uh, on the double sleep. Um, opening turn again for Blues are pretty much the same thing again. Um, Atalanta, Fever, Kirin, Thorn, good start. Better than Sleep Star. Blues has seen a lot of those in his time. Ramses, Flint, Flare Wall, Ray. So again, the Atalanta being cast by I Ivan allows um, allows for increased Ray damage, which is helpful. And also, Gust comes back onto Gar oh, uh, Forge, uh, Forge goes first, I think, yeah, um, because of his his setup. Um, uh -huh. There we go, and a nice Fever kill, very lovely. Gets the extra experience as well. Um, I'll talk about that just now. Rainbow kills. What are rainbow kills? Rainbow kills are a kill that when you defeat an enemy using a genie attack of the element the enemy is weak to. Tret is weak to fire, being a tree and all. So fever is a fire aspected physical attack. By killing Tret with a fire attack with a genie, there's a chance the enemy will flash rainbow colours before they die. What this does is increases gold dropped, experience gained, and increases the drop chance if an enemy can drop a an item. Um, 
many of you who may have played this game casually in the past may know about, you know, reset strats to get rainbow kills in order to guarantee particular item drops um, that you can then get to, you know, get things like the Kiku Ichimonji, which is the very, you know, infamous weapon in this game. Um, but the rainbow kills are a very important thing. This is what obviously Flexer wanted to try and do, but didn't get because he had Ivan and or Isaac and Garrett slept on turn two with Sleep Star. Um, rainbow kills gain a little bit of extra experience because this game has taken a bit more of an approach to in a particular location because of expected value. We're finding ourselves falling behind in the experience game. To that yeah, end, just... we need to make up the experience somehow. Therefore, particular boss fights have been rerouted and reorganized to try and force rainbow kills in order to get the bonus experience. To make up for that experience loss. Also a fun fact for those uh, who may be you know, see, seeing this game for the first time, how would you know what an enemy is weak to? Um, well, there are different punctuations uh, given whenever you attack an enemy. There will be a single full stop, a single ex exclamation mark, or triple e e exclamation mark. A full stop at the end of the sentence when you attack an enemy means that they are strong against the element used. So if you use plasma and they're strong against yeah, wind, it'll just do dealt 63 damage. And then full stop. An, e an e exclamation mark means they're neither weak nor <laughs> strong against an element, they're just neutral. If there's three exclamation marks, the the is weak to that element. So a visual tell for you, if you're either, un if you're either not in the know or going to play this game for the first time and are curious, that's how you know. So Bluza didn't have enough PP uh, to cast Retreat, but because of Retreat Glitch, you can just go uh, climb back into Treachery and it warps you back out. It's a lovely failsafe that both of those options work. Um, we're now going to be making a bit of a... one of the only real specific detours that doesn't actually affect MSQ pro, um, like, pro I progress. <laughs> um, you don't need to do this. Uh, we're going in uh, to Fusion Temple, and Fusion Temple is completely, completely optional. Now, as a casual player, you wouldn't know how to get through Mogul Forest, and Fusion Temple Cave does have an item that allows you to figure out the puzzle. However, Mogul Forest is a set pattern, it's never different. So we, because we know what that is, we don't need to go and get the Force Gem to use Force in order to get through Mogul Forest. However, we are still going to go into Fusion um, Falls Cave. The reason for this is we have a third, all oh, bloody Nora. That's not the trouble for Blue. Welcome to Golden Sun. Yeah, welcome to Golden Sun. Poor Blues are there, unfortunately falling, or Garrett falling, but there's a say there's a, a healer right here, so it's fine. Um, but the reason we're going into Fusion Falls Cave is we're going to be getting our third Jupiter Ginny specifically. That is an encounter on that screen. That is poo. Please flee. Please go away. Okay, good. Um, that could have easily been a, been a dead Isaac. Um, we're going to be going to get our third Jupiter Ginny. I'll talk about that in a bit because we're going to do another retreat glitch. Oh. Um, now, the retreat glitch does not affect this screen. This screen has a bridge. Now, what you're meant to do is kind of create fire but, to yeah. see the bridge, but the bridge is always there. We know where the bridge is, so it's fine. Retreat yeah, glitch takes us from that castle. screen yeah. to yeah. the screen where Zephyr is. This is Zephyr. Yeah. Zephyr yeah. sucks. Yeah. Zephyr likes to run away all the time yeah. because he sucks. Yeah. So we'll see yeah. if Plexa gets lucky or not. Ramses Kirin. Sorry, no, Neary, Ramses Kirin, and. Uh, sorry, sorry. Neary, Fever, Kirin, Ramses. Um, did not flee, so, that, so that's good on Plexus side. We'll see how Bluesy does when he gets there. <laughs> it's going to be good, good luck for one person, we'll have to see. It's, it's an 11% chance for any gym to flee. It doesn't feel like 11%. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, we've got to skip that. It's good. No encounter for Bluezer, so it does make up a little bit of extra time. He's going to cast oh. Growth here because it, 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 oh, yeah. it spends uh, 4 PP, then it's fastest. So it's really nice. Go. There's the retreat glitch oh, for Bluezer. Through he goes. Plexer oh, is out of Fusion Temple um, with oh, his oh. Tier 3 summon. This is the most important thing. Um, the Tier 3 Jupiter summon is, one of the, fa the, is the fastest thing you can do in the game that isn't attack. Um, it's ridiculously fast. It is very, very powerful as well. It's a tier three, which means that it deals lots of damage. An attack for Bluezer, no flea. Very good. So watch this. Um, Procne and then Flashbolt. 
So flash bomb so comes through, the and then proc me. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see the enemies, now you don't. Nice and easy. Um, the reason we're going to go into a bit more of an attacking stance is for this reason. Proc me just murders stuff. Um, very, very fast. And we've also um, we've also dispersed the the, the, the Ginnies, so that we have one Jupiter Ginny on Mia, on Isaac, and on Garrett. This means that every single tick you hear, when we have a Ginny in recovery, you may hear a little, like, ting. That sound is Ginny recovering. Perfect. Prop me straight down the center. Dead, dead, dead. Uh, the, as you can see, the triple M exclamation marks, they're all weak to Jupiter. So when you hear the tick, ding, into the menu, and we're going to be setting Forge on Mia. This is very important. The fire class of Mia increases her agility quite a lot and gives her access to Prism and um, Dredge. Um, douse. These are very, very fast spells as well as uh, speeding up Mia as well. So if we do need um, Mia to uh, you know, follow up damage, because there are certain type, there are certain enemy types that do not die to the splash damage on proc. Everything will die on target, but there are certain things that will, will not die to the splash. If that happens, we need Mia to either be the summoner to finish off the damage and then have J and then have Ivan um, just throw out a little bit of extra damage, or you know, um, vice versa, depending on who's faster. So um, yeah, we're gonna go for um, again. Shoutouts to the, the guy whose my name actually resembles now for the strat. It saves time. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to do a lot of summoning. We used to do like uh, just all like Procne, Fever, Near Read, but now uh, we do um, Procne, Flash Bolt, Prism. And fever, I think it is. Um, for the extra, I think, extra I think blue's still going to do the old strat, but yeah. Mm. But that strat is is a newer one. It's slightly slightly faster, um, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see different strats. Uh, no run for quartz though uh, for plexus. So we'll have to see. This is one of the worst fleas in the game. I'm sorry to bring it up right now before blue's passed it. I really shouldn't say that um, because you have to run all the way out, and you're probably going to get another encounter. It's about there. Go. Uh, it's about a minute time loss. It's eleven. Yeah, it's, it's a really terrible time loss. Attack. Was that, a, was that a CBS? Oh CBS, my god. CBS, yeah. Splat. Yeah, and it wasn't on Ivan. That's so lucky. <laughs> um, I do enjoy when you're two minutes ahead after after Zephyr because everything went fine. You get to Quartz and he just does, you know, CBS insta kills Ivan. You're like, oh. <laughs> cool. Yes, thanks for coming. Intro again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've always wanted There's to see the intro. a lot of intro on Blues' this stream. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reminder for those of you who have just joined us as well, CBS means caught by surprise, and that is a back attack to the enemy, which means that we have to tank a hit before anything goes on. Okay, this item that Plexer has picked up is perhaps one of the most important items in the game, because agility is the most important stat. The Elven Shirt is a defense upgrade, yes, but it increases our agility, it multiplies our base agility by one point. Well, by 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 fifty percent of of its base. So if you have a hundred, you're going to go up to one hundred and fifty, and then that's modified by the class you're in. So um, wonderful. Um, agility is going to main, mean that we can have uh, very specific out turns and allow people to um, you know out, out, out turn certain enemies. We will be shifting that elven shirt around because different priority of speed is going to be needed at different points in the run. Um, because characters that we need to outspeed will naturally outspeed, so we need to augment someone else's speed so that they can outturn the enemies as well, um, or outturn to a, to a point specific enemies. Okay, we got Killer Ape coming up next for Plexa as Blueza picks up his Jobby Bosch Elven shirt. Um, this is cool. We're going to have uh, Zephyr, Fever, and Granite all set for those three. Um, so Zephyr, again, at this point, this is where we're going to start having interesting things. We're trying to get into summons, but we're going to have set setups to begin with. So Zephyr increases our speed, um, Fever for the extra damage, and and then Granite to keep us protected on that first turn. That gives us a nice opening um, gambit on that turn, but then it also gives us loads of summons to play with for the next following two turns. Um, there is a move we want to watch out for is War Cry from the Killer Eight, which does which stuns a character. If they haven't taken their turn, they will lose their turn. Bind on Isaac. That's fine. Didn't even work. So it's whatever. Fever. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You, you, this has changed. So you can sometimes use Flare Wall, but we're going for the Kirin strat. This is again to set up for a Fever finish, which allows for um, another rainbow kill so we used to do like flare wall here and just do summons on the second turn but by garrett using that on turn one it means that we're going to get the fever we're going to get fever back early um so 
there's going to be as much damage, damage coming out as possible. So Procne, Cybele, Nia Reed, and then we're going to have Flare Wall coming out from Garrett on turn two. Um, Ransack, not alive. Ivan! Okay, good. Um, Flare Wall is going to be boosted. That's extra damage, which means that we are going to be able to be in a position for Fever to get that boosted kill. Let's have a look. Ransack on Isaac for the first turn for Blueser. Uh, Granite's going to protect him there, so that's nice. Plasma! Plasma! Rainbow kill for... Um, for Plexa, very, very nice. If anyone gets the Paul um reference, then you're great. Procne, Near Reed, Cybele. Cybele, or the Time lo Time Lothosaurus, as we like to call it. Oh, Jesus, dude. Isaac is getting outturned by the, uh, the killer rate. This sometimes happens, and this is very scary. There's a particular position right now, by the way, that Plexa is looking for. I'll talk about that in a bit when Bluzer does it, because I want to watch Bluzer's fight instead. You can instead be be wowed by Plexa as he's doing this. I'll, I'll describe it in just a moment. This is going to be sketchy. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, mate. But there, that is you're definitely sketch. Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus, dude. No rainbow, though. No rainbow, though. So they're traded off on rainbows. No rainbow for Bluzer there, but he did get the rainbow earlier, so a bit of extra experience. That was very, very scary. Um, <clears throat> okay. Wonder what Pl uh, Plex is doing. He's doing a safety strat. He's going to go and pick up this bad boy right here. 3,000 uh, coins. Buy ourselves a water of life. Uh, so we're going to have to be um, sorting out our gin to get our characters into some tier twos um, to like keep ourselves safe. Now, what's happening is this is a sub pixel thing. Um, if you're standing in the right position and then you cast Frost here, we, we use a visual cue to get this right. Cast Frost, press down left, and you'll actually clip to the top of the, of the of the Frost Pillar, like that. This is a much more prominent thing that you may have seen in uh, Golden Sun The Lost Age, the sequel to this game. This is the only time you can really do it here in um, Broken Seal, um, which, is the, which is the subtitle of the first game in Japanese. Uh, sorry, but yeah, Golden Sun 1 for the Broken Seal. Um, that said, we've got Plexa beating up another cute Ginny, because he's, uh, he's angry. Procne Neptune, nice and easy. That's a lovely fight. You'll love to see that one, don't you? Really, really nice. Again, we're um, characters are in uh, tier two just to increase the survivability here. There's a lot of monkeys that use ransack, and there's a lot of fleeing going on. So it's very, very tricky these fights. Um, we just um, set the uh, the Venus Ginny on Ivan just so he um, <laughs> wow tried to flee but didn't. That's good. No healing required. Um, but that extra Ginny on Ivan gives him enough HP to survive a move that we normally don't want to see. So, um, yeah, just a lot of survivability options being added in here. That is not good. Flee, flee, flee. Okay, go, go away. Um, so that's Corona. Um, make your jokes now. It's not going to last. Um, it's over. Corona's a pretty fun gin. Um, lowest defense, I think. Call Increases surprise. Defense. Increases defense, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Probably thinking of there's there's a move that um, there's, there's a fire genie that does that. No, oh, yeah, there, there's plenty of gin that do that. Fire, it hits fire. Torch, torch, I think torch. Does that's it. the one. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. I just remember the screen going hazy, right, and just blowing up. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some water for a bit. Um, either run if you want to continue, or Sam, if we have some donations, let's uh, let's hear them because uh, I want to hit 49k on this run. Let's go. I do have a couple donations, if that's okay, with uh, Blueser and Plexa. Yeah, All right. We have a $5 donation from FX that says, Hey, plus I got the fur coat. <laughs> Could have been 10, Blueser. Could have been 10. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $5 donation from Future. Good job, Plexa. Paying up. Also, shout outs to Blueser dodging my first donation and now the fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> Did it anyway. What a guy. Thanks, Future. We also have a $45 donation from Kenny K. Roll. This mod for Job Simulator sounds fun. So let's support that incentive and save the kids. And that donation, of course, went to the Job Simulator. Uh, bouncy Job Mod, which is still, uh, still open, still accepting donations and bids. We are $270 away from it. So let's, uh, let's get that going. Uh, yeah, I started the fight without the menu because I A-pressed instead of doing good things, yeah. 
No, yeah, I'm are, feeling the pain. There are two ways to open the menu, A and select. When you're standing in front of something that you interact with when you press A, don't press A to open the menu. Yeah. As, you, as you'll see, Plexer is now having an absolute nightmare fight, and then Blue might be able to take the lead, maybe. He probably will off this. Uh, uh, so what you're meant to do is uh, Fever to open, a little bit of damage, proc me, and then Tiamat. Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry, I've got the re the, the uh, world reignited uh, thing on, on in my ears. Um, there's um, Ramses as well, and then Tiamat to finish off. Um, nice bit of extra damage. Um, Bluza is in the lead. Plexa just finishes now as well. That's a wonderful turnaround there for Blue. Um, I say wonderful turnaround. That's more of an error on Plexa's <laughs> side. Um, yeah, can you believe that Plexa is the, uh, the world, world record holder with that error? Man. Um, standards. Standards. If you can't keep your own, mate, what were we meant to, what were we meant to do? Um, our inspiration, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... <laughs> Ribbing aside, very, very close race. Uh, that is a CBS. <laughs> I, it just never ends. It's CBS after triple fail, after triple fail, after CBS. And it's a quad, dude. And it's a quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. problem, no problem. <laughs> Look at this Plexa guy getting a single a single slime. Plexa's in the lead. That's how he got it. That's how he got the record. Yeah, that's how he got it. Dang. Do, 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 do. So right. there is a, there is this whole thing, right, where, where we're talking about expected value, where the expected value for fleeing becomes better than fighting when Isaac hits a particular level. We want him to hit level 10, I think, in here. And it's level, no, or is it level 11? Level 11. Um, we want him to hit level 11, um, and then that basically puts our average level high enough that fleeing becomes a better option. Uh, that is another quad, and that is another fail for me. <laughs> oh, I'm dead sword. So, uh, obviously ability. at the half-time mark, uh, what, 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 what was the feeling like in the locker room? How, how are the guys feeling? Like, yeah, obviously, you know, come a long way, but, um, you know, what, what was the conversation like at, at half-time? At half well, that's Lama yeah. Temple, Bowie. We've got a couple of minutes to play <laughs> before we get there. Well, I'm just, I mean, you know, going into, yeah, I mean, obviously Blue has got to have, have a team talk. It's, There's uh, a lot of game left. There's a lot of game left. Okay, as uh, Plexa en exits the fight, Bluezer is entering. This time should be fine, same as last time. If you get level 11 on Isaac early, he actually outturns, he can do a faster strat here. Uh, he'll outturn the, the the living statue, but um, if you don't, it's better just to do this like full strat here. So that should be level 11 on this one. Plexa did get that, so he's gonna be fleeing now and he'll just like obviously set all of his Ginny to get as many stats as possible. No level 11, it seems like, for Bluezer. Interesting. Sorry. It's okay. Um, yeah, so this this dungeon is obviously very, very complex and very, very deep. Um, and has really, really wonderful puzzles that are very rewarding and fun to do. Um, and you feel great as a, as a player when you clear those. And it's a really important part of this game, is puzzle solving. Um, with that in mind, we're going to be uh, tackling the rest of this dungeon in a very, very fun way. Um, so, yeah, we've got a little bit to go, though. Um, it's just one of the, yeah, it's just one of those those dungeons. All ten is just you know need to really put a lot of focus in. So those first two fights are all gearing up to the third, like the third kind of like big statue, um, who the Hydra statue. Obviously, we got to we got to work on that one. Um, big big boss has some pretty pretty power powerful moves. We want to like you know set ourselves up in a way that we're going to be. Um, you know, safe. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to cast frost on this particular uh, pool of water here. Very important part to this setup for for the, for the boss fight. Um, we want to jump over this hole because it's obviously you know very important for the boss fight to jump over this hole. Okay, so the next strategy what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, it's going to bring you know cast frost one more time just because we can. And we're going to... Ah, right. Never mind. Retreat Glip skips the entire rest of that dungeon. And this is Llama Temple. Very important. Oh, this is actually half time. Yeah, we've got a two-minute cutscene coming up as well now. Um, 
So, yeah, this is another good time for some donations, um, or reads, or some funny jokes. Uh, everyone, donate a tenner and tell us a funny joke. A dad joke, uh, ideally. Really, really good ones, I think. Things like, yes. things like to the person who stole my Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that, those that could work. <laughs> <laughs> I think those dad jokes could work, especially for the a bouncy mod for Job Simulator, which we're really mm -hmm. close to meeting our goal with. Hell yeah. Make sure to meet those goals. We want to meet all the goals. So just a reminder to everyone, we are here raising money for Save the Children. Save the Children works with communities to create safe and creative preschool environments to keep children well fed and healthy and to take teaching materials into homes so the whole family can support a child's education. And you can help give uh, children a future by donating during this event. Uh, links to donate are below the stream. You can also hit exclamation point donate into the chat. Uh, to get a link up to donate and get those donations rolling in. So yeah, get those get those dad jokes going. I'd love to read some dad jokes. <laughs> Where's my boy Endeth when when you, when you need him? Uh, I, I I have this viewer called Endeth. He's amazing. He always comes and tells tells us the dad joke and then then just la lurks for for the rest of of the stream. His recent one was amazing. It was like uh, I was, I've been staring at my ceiling recently. I don't think it's the best one in the world, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> So good. That also was just sit on air. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Bowie. I'm two hours into this, you know. We need it's we need our, our viewers to give us better ones, otherwise we're gonna be subjected better? to that. Wow. Excuse me. Aggressive <laughs> behavior, sir. I didn't expect that from you at fight at half five. Can't believe Moobot is stopping stopping pyramids. Vine pyramids. Um, okay, so quick yeah, story look. update. This is uh, Hama. Don't worry about her. She's not at all important to Ivan or anything like that. She just happens to have the same abilities and can teach him stuff. Um, but uh, she'll be relevant at some point in the game, but just not for us right now or this speedrun, apart from giving us the ability to use Reveal. Reveal is a very powerful ability. It layers a map over the top of the current map in a nice black and white fashion and reveals the true nature um, of what's, what lies beneath. Um, and it's very important for the next, next dungeon because the gimmick of the next dungeon is that, uh, it, so, I mean, obviously we're going to a desert, right? Lamakan Desert is a, uh, an evil desert. It's very, very hot and it tries to kill you. There are rings of stones around the dungeon, and if you cast Reveal on them, you'll find either an oasis, um, or you'll find items, or you'll find Sanji stones, or you'll find other things. And that's going to be really important. And it's important to note the way that the Reveal spell works, because the Reveal spell warp, like puts a map over the top of the current one, right? It's, it's literally like it just layers another map over it. That's another map with that on, and then you can access it, and then you get rid of the map. Just clear it out. Off it goes. Um, that's very, very important. Um, so, uh, now, we're going to be doing an interesting way to get through this dungeon. We're not going to do all of Lemmican Desert. We're going to grab as much as we can. Most importantly, please note that we have now got three Ginny of every single element. So, we're, again, we're building up to get powerful summons. We're going to be getting one more. That is a caught by surprise of two Salamanders. That is very nasty. Salamanders are one of the, stra uh, the, the scariest here. Going for a run, okay. Ah, oh. oh no. But this is why we did have a contingency plan. Well done, Plex, for grabbing that. Um, you, the other, the other way of doing that is to do um, drench with Mia into Procne, which does kill. Um, but again, you need to have that set up. I don't think it was set up at the time. Um, oh no, no. I think for double salamander, it's Neptune Procne actually, which is even worse. Just the single one if you want that. Um, okay, we're, we're both in Lamekin now. Now, the movement that they're actually doing is also very, very precise. You'll notice that uh, Plexa did not get hit by the um, beam, the, the the gauge yet. When you're running on sand, the gauge, the heat gauge increases. When it reaches its max, you take a percentage bit of damage to the entire party. Um, this can down a party member if they're low, um, which is very, very scary. Um, but... By jumping in the oasis, in the oases, you lower the the gauge down to the bottom. So, so that's so that's the whole gimmick, right? You want to stop the gauge from maxing out, jumping into the oases and cooling down, um, and that's how you meant to do it. Now, this is the second screen of the dungeon. 
This is the final screen of the dungeon. Well, people take, uh, you know, there's a cave you run through. But this is the final screen we're going to do. How you ask? Well, um, first off, we're going to go and grab our fourth Jupiter Ginny. We're going to grab uh, Smog. Um, Smog is very, very cool. Um, but it also gives us, like, gives us access to the fourth summon tier for Jupiter, Thor. Thor is the slowest tier four, but Thor is um, very, very nice in terms of damage coming out from Ivan. Uh, we're going to eventually build up to have a tier four for every element, and then we're only going to get bonuses of very particular elements afterwards, and we'll talk about those in a bit. So here's Smog. You may also notice the antlion. We've had a different, a, a fair different like ways to get through uh, Lamekin. So by taking these hits as well, it allows us to heal the party and then burn um, I Isaac's PP down to as low as possible so that we can do the next retreat glitch. So let's quickly keep an eye on Plexa here as he's using PP there, goes down to three, cast reveal, then does the retreat glitch and then walks in. Ah, he did that a bit weird. Um, there we go. Cool. Right, so what happens is when both players are up, up here as well, that, that um, second run for, for um, Plexa and better encounters for Bluza meant that Bluza has caught, caught up, up a little bit, but he is taking this fight here. Plexa did not. There's the lead. Um, caught by surprise, I suppose. Not at this point, you don't want to see that now. He has to go for it, yeah, yeah he, he, he has to go for it. Um, so how, how, how did it, does that work? That's called the slip and slide. And how that works is that um, when you cast reveal, it brings up the uh, oasis. When you jump into an oasis, it's kind of like a magnet effect. You jump into the um, oasis, and you stay in there, and you splash about. Yeah, I'm in the water. Yeah, it's really, really cooling and lovely. And then when you're done in the oasis, you jump out. However, because we use the, the retreat, we, we, we bring reveal up to bring it there. But because we use the retreat glitch, the game thinks we're on a different screen. So the magnet effect that should be on that pool isn't there. Because, you're, because there is not actually any more a, an, an oasis there, because the game thinks you're on a different screen, and there's no, no oasis, so there's no magnet effect. So you just go off the reveal plane, and when reveal is over, it pops you on the top out of bounds, and you can go off screen and activate Manticore off screen. Now, Manticore is another really, really hard fight, a story that I didn't kind of get into it earlier. He can take two turns per action. This is the first oh in instant. Oh, this is not good at all. Deadly poison on Ivan. He's going first as well. No, this is this is the one and eight. I probably die here. Oh, this is the one and eight. Uh, okay. Yeah. There's a dangerous turn order, and it's very very scary to get it, and it means that essentially on the it's, uh, it's going to be Mad Blast Poison Tail, and I need good energy. Otherwise, I'm in a world of pain. Yeah. yeah. So. There it is. That's on Garrett. Not too bad. Poison Tail is ah 81. He had 80 as well. That is really yep. unfortunate. That is that is dangerous. That is going to be a lot of time lost for Plexa. So um, again, like Mid Saturos, he has eight turns that are in order. He takes two actions per turn, um, which is very very dangerous. Um, I believe it is um, Poison Tail impair, um, Mad Blast Poison Tail. Um, I think it's an attack, delude, curse, Nova. I think it's something like that is the order, uh, roughly. I mean, he'll take two of those. Now, the idea is what... Um, did you get away with it? Yeah. Okay. What? Um, that didn't... Oh, missing damage. Garrett! HP is uh, what? This is not Garrett, good. That's not good at all, no. Uh, this is really tricky. Oh, Nova Delu. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, but Blue is not in the lead. Yeah, Blue's is in, in the lead. He got very, very lucky. Garrett survived with one HP. Um, yes. But uh, he did get the strat off perfectly. So you want to start with the Neptune, which then powers up um, Nia. And on turn three, you get back Fizz and Sleep, and you use those and do a powered up Nia read. It's a very, very lovely setup because Nia gets out turned because we gave the Elven shirt over to Garrett in the pre setup. I didn't have enough time to talk about that, I'm sorry. Um, immediately afterwards, though, we're going to go and find this little bastard. Uh, this is Vine. Vine, actually, most Ginny on the world map are almost guaranteed to appear if you're in their area, apart from Vine. Vine's spawn points are set up to be in lo multiple locations, but I'm and sure. because of that, it actually has oh, a split to... chance to appear. However, if you let yeah. go of the button, yeah. of, if you let go of movement, on the frame, that, pretty junior. much you get the encounter, he appears guaranteed. So you'll see our, our runners are like stutter stepping in the forest to try and get it. Um, they both got it. So uh, Vine first try for both players. Uh, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, Blues is in the lead right now. Uh, thanks to that unfortunate uh, RNG for Plexa on Manticore. I didn't see the time for Manticore, um, but know that it was not a subject. <laughs> it was close. I think it was. Like, I think it was like a two, a low two hundred one, or a low or a high two flat. I didn't see. Good night, Neo. Okay, so this is Calais. We're about to take a trip over from Calais across the Caragol Sea, which is a lake, which Garrett thinks is a sea, despite seeing the sea earlier, because he's an idiot. Um, before that, we're going to go and do some stuff. Uh, we're going to buy some items, buy a big axe for Garrett, and go and grab Scorch, our fourth fire ginny. Grabbing Vine was our fourth Earth Ginny. Um, so I was talking earlier about the fact that Thor is um, the slowest. There are four tier fours, obviously, and they have animations that can't be skipped at the speed of like Ramses or And they take a little bit. Venus's tier four, Judgment, is the fastest tier four summoner. And it is about double the speed of Thor, roughly. I think it's like 380 to like 620 or something like that, in terms of frame count, right? Well, um, again, the exact numbers, Plexa would know that. Um, and then the Meteor and Boreas, which are the fire and water tier fours, respectively, um, they are at roughly the same speed and they're in between Judgment and uh, Thor at about like the high 400. Um, so basically, wherever possible, we will be using Judgment to summon, because it's the quickest tier 4 when we need a tier 4. We may not even always need, need a tier 4. Um, the next order of priority is of course then Mercury and, and Meteor. We will only summon and summon Thor if it's absolutely mandatory to get the kill on the fight. Because it's just so slow. Because you skip the fast bit. The slow bit of Thor is like him firing the lightning no, from, just from the there, but, um, We skip the bit when he just appears. Which is really fast. This is the old ass man song. I can't sing it because uh, I'm not in time with it. Watch. But um, no, I like, ruined this song for the entire the entire community. I'm sorry, watch. Um, watch. I'm not. I know. I know what I did. These are the tourists just... who want to go to. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just really thankful I did the backup strat that I came up with like a couple days ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I did it, oh boy, this would have been so much pain. <laughs> I don't know if you caught it, but I. I... I bought the water apply for you, usually by in Calais, in Xi'an, just in case. So I had two waters of life in Lamakan, so when I got- I had two deaths, because I had someone die on Manticore and someone die on the Battle Salamander fight. Yeah. <laughs> so lucky. Yeah. Super lucky. Old ass man. Old ass man. Uh, yeah, um... What should be noted is that nearby, across the Caragol Sea, the reason we're going across the Caragol Sea is we need, need, need to get there anyway to get to the Venus Lighthouse and continue chasing down to Tourist Minardi. However, no, uh, the no. crossing from Calais to Tolby is also no, for no. another reason. No, no. In Tolby no, no. is a, a yearly celebration of Colossus, which is a, a big tournament where warriors from around the globe join a tournament to become the greatest and get in favor of um, an even older man. Um, and he talks even more than everyone else. Um, he is looking for powerful warriors for a reason, so it's a big like, attraction that everyone goes to, to Tolby to watch um, Colosso. Um, some of the people in that tourism tourist party, uh, particularly the two, uh, the blue and red warriors, want to try and get into, into Colosso. There's also a swords a, a swordswoman as well who is also uh, so, keen as mustard. Well um, so we, they want to get over, but the captain of the ship's all uh, Gar, no, um, because it's dangerous out on the Caragol Sea. Um, you now have to keep it up for the entire boat uh, scene, Bowie. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, for my uh, commentary. Yes. Um, go there, we'll go to the cabin there and see that there's a blue and a red haired <laughs> warrior. And they're having oh, they're they're effing and jeffing about the fact that they can't get across the old sea, you see. Um you can donate to stop or continue this, please. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, so yeah. essentially their worry is like, look, I know that the sea's dangerous, this is a camel well, game, we're on a boat, we're going to get knackered, I get it. Um, but we're warriors and it's great, so we're going to go and tell them, tell the the, um, the captain to put a sock in it. Let's, um, let's, let's crack on and get across the sea. Um, however, there's a lucky charm, because all sailors are obviously very superstitious, that's why they... Um, cats aren't on board just for superstition, it's also obviously it's to like, throw stuff, stuff and keep the food safe. Um, but oh, also, also good luck. Um, but uh, the lucky charm, the lucky anchor, is something for the uh, the, the captain to suddenly feel set, feel at, at ease. Whoa, Plexa, I saw that. No way. That was, Did he do it? Every time. That was it? Sir, Every time, what man. What a guy. What that a was guy. Sir Dr. Like, so this is the thing, right? So I am really good at the drop downs. Like, I feel really <laughs> confident about them. I can't do like full ups like at all. Like my thumb physically cannot do it, so it makes for a bit of a struggle when you try to get them. And there's so many more like instant get to the tops than there is fall off the damn ladder. So yeah, if I, it, yeah, curse, curse, yeah, curse my small thumb. I'll show you guys later, just for the. Moments. Yeah, so this is the Let's moment get... where they're like, "Oh no, where's my lucky charm? My lucky charm!" Uh, and then we're like, I found it right here. So there's a cool mechanic that we haven't talked about at the beginning of the game. Ivan has a move called Mind Read, right? You can actually use that to mind read loads of people. Oh, and every single stuff. character in the game has surface dialogue and then like subconscious dialogue. Every character has stuff that they say. So they're like, they wrote two scripts to this game. And it's really fascinating to see how much you learn about the lore of the world or about particular things, but also. If you don't know where the um, where the lucky anchor is, you can use Mind Read on our blue bandana friend over there, and he's all like, "Oh, no, they'll never know I hid it in the crow's nest." And you go, uh, I don't know, oh, uh, smiling face. Dot joke. Um, so you can go and grab it. You are also really powerful warriors, and as your four powerful warriors, with two other powerful warriors, we're going to cross the sea, and it'll all be fine. We're not going to get attacked by any nasty sea beasts. This is the Camelot game, and that, and that, and that never happens, right? Now, I believe we're doing the gentleman's agreement here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what saving before crafting? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, soft reset, though. Yeah, of course, always. Yep, yep, good, good. Hard reset guarantees the sleep, which is why we have to be careful about this. Yeah. Again, manipulation from the beginning of the battle RNG is a thing that does happen. Um, so the reason we're talking about this, uh, it is a marathon run. If you lose the Kraken, you go back 15 minutes and have to do this entire boat section again. Well, I mean, from 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 setting off, you don't have to find the anchor, I think. Um, but from setting off, you have to do the whole set the whole section again. It's a long section. It's the split's about 17 minutes from like finishing Vine until completing the boss. Um, so yeah, it's about like 11 minutes lost. The reason we're we're gonna do a safety save here is because we do not guarantee to win this fight. Kraken is a boss fight that is too powerful for us to actually brute force, ideally, right? Um, you can win it with some severe luck. I've done it once. Um, without being put to sleep. Um, so by hitting level 13, uh, Ivan has access to the sleep spell. And the sleep spell will put Kraken to sleep and he will be asleep for minimum two turns. Um, usually just two turns because of his uh, status as a boss. He usually just does recover quite quickly. But it can be more if you're lucky. Um, but if you put him to sleep turn one, you win the fight. No questions asked. If you put him to sleep turn two, you win the fight. No questions asked. If you don't put him to sleep by turn two, you're probably dead. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, that's it. Um, and because we have a few shots at this, we do have a couple of shots at this. Um, I think no, with no, all no. the strats we go, we got sleep bomb, double sleep uh, spell no, prop, no, no, mist no, no, no. also put to sleep. Um, we also uh, sometimes back in the day no, use scorch no, no, anymore. We have different strats um, to try and stun, which is the same thing as sleep really. Um, it's about an eighty-three or eighty-seven percent chance of of, of success. Um, but on the off chance, again, that's just percentage chance. That's just prob probability. Like, um, doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it's actually like that. Um, should probably mention Garrett's actually pretty like useful here too. Oh yes, of course. Yes. A hand. Um, <laughs> a hand. A large hand. We uh, kept the um, elven shirt on him, and we set one Ginny, mm -hmm. a, 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 a Jupiter Ginny, on Garrett, which means that he's now Zephyr. faster than 
so yeah it means that he's faster than, than yeah. the enemy so we don't have to move because normally what you could do is you could go Elvenshire after Manticore back to I Ivan but then you have to move it back to Garrett again which increases the menu so just keeping it on Garrett we set a uh, Ginny on him so he can out turn things and then we don't have to shift the Elvenshire around for a bit um, so at this point some, some of you may know, may, may know this, some of you may not. There is an easter egg here. There is a secret island in this game uh, called the Crossbone Isle with a super boss, one of the final Ginny, um, and loads of like fun fights and puzzles and really cool stuff. Um, it's an end game area that you can reach later on, but you can reach it now. Um, because the whole, the whole like gimmick here is that as we're sailing across the sea, um, oarsmen are being taken down because we're, we're such great bodyguards. Um, oarsmen are being taken down. We have to replace the oarsmen with the um, with the tourists. If you imbalance the strength of the tourists, so one side is stronger than the other, the ship veers off course. It's a really cool thing. Camelot, you're awesome. So if you balance the strength of the left and the right, we go. We get set on course. We're not going to go across the Isle because we can't do anything. We can do a little bit there, but we're not really able to do much. Level, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to leave it behind. But you, you, but you can do it. And that's really sick. It's really cool. Yeah. I love you, Camel. Anyway, there's more fights, more oarsmen to save. I'm gonna quickly just uh, BRB real quick. Um, so I'll hand, hand it back to uh, to Sam. If you have more reads or more donations, I would love to hear them. Ah uh, yes, and the dad jokes have started to roll in. We'll get to those in just a second. Uh, I do have a fifty dollar donation from R Connor that says, "Loving this Golden Sun run. Never played the game, but the commentary is great at explaining the plot and the speed strats. I'm very entertaining to boot. Thanks to all the runners, announcers, team crew, and organizers." All right, and then we have a ten dollar donation from Kumiko that says. Why did the lifeguard have trouble rescuing the hippie? He was too far out. <laughs> That's pretty good. And a, another $10 donation from Anonymous. Hello everyone, great to see you. Here's a dad joke. How do you remember which direction the sun rises in? Eh, eventually it'll dawn on you. These are much better than noise. I've had enough of your, I've had enough of your slander, alright? <laughs> Focus on the run, all right? You do you, and I'll do me, okay? All right, I promise this, and now we've got some downtime. Um, <laughs> so yeah, one of the reasons I can't do the down is that my left thumb is slightly shorter than my right thumb. So it cut <laughs> off. Wow. And so it does this weird locking thing when I do the down-up animation for some reason, instead of the up-down. My right thumb can do it just fine, but my left thumb, unfortunately, struggles a wee bit. Upside-down well, controller okay. strats? Uh, no, you do you do right-handed strats for it. Like Felissa does this on um, DS. Oh, she does DS. down up with yeah, yeah. Uh, with two two thumbs instead of one. Should note how neck and neck this race is right now. It's pretty nuts how how close. This is the final fight before the Kraken. Um, so we've got a little bit more time before we get our next like serious <laughs> time before the Kraken. Because, uh, it will be a safety save. Remember to do do that both, please, lads. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Do we do we have some more dad jokes? Do more dad jokes? Because I really wanna. Kind of we could definitely get some uh, Dan joke train hype going on. Some donations going. Here. <laughs> we are we are very close to uh, reaching that job simulator, a bounty job mod, uh, incentive target goals a thousand dollars. Less than two hundred and twenty dollars away from meeting that goal. So I'd like to see that goal met. Make sure to get your dad joke donations going i'd be happy to read them during this awesome race hell yeah thanks so much um okay so they're just going to quickly get another um setup now we're going to do a very particular movement here vine granite and mist are currently set this is a bit of a change uh because we used to have different slightly different strats but this is going to be a new new one again these are the modifications to increase the chances of rainbow kills to make up for the lack of experience that we have to do when we do extra running, specifically in Altin. Um, the reason we're doing this is because we are looking for a very particular level on Isaac in a particular particular dungeon, so we can go from, again, 
attacking to fleeing, which speeds up the exp like the potential of a of a dungeon a little bit. Um, so I'm going to remind our runners to obviously get their save in before they do this. Um, this fight is not guaranteed. Um, there was a four-way race before. I failed this twice. Um, <laughs> On a, in, a, in, in a race, and it was brutal. Um, it just, just, sometimes, just sometimes happens. We don't know what's going to happen with uh, Kraken. We'll see how it goes. So, um, we're going to open up first of all with Vine and Granite. Meteor and Sleep is going to be our first turn. Uh, Vine halves um, the Kraken speed. It's better to halve their speed than boost your own at this point, because it's a bigger decrease for them than it is a, a bonus for you. Um, and also, it means that we can out, out turn it. Uh, Granite gives us 50% damage reduction, of course, because uh, Ivan will die. Um, if he gets double targeted by like spinning beat and poison beat, he's dead anyway, so there's not much you can do about it. Um, but we'll see. Sleep going out for, on Plex's side, lands it! Sleep going out on Blue's side, lands it! Lovely start. GG. GG. Very man. good. Okay, Meteor out first, um, which is very, very lovely. Um, gonna go judgment mist thor and heatwave uh mist for a little bit of extra damage judgment again for the tier four summon and thor um and then we're also going to be using heatwave because obviously it's powered up thanks to the power of meteor plus 100 elemental power um and the axe we bought on garrett as well means it's going to deal a lot of damage 103 on plexus side how much <laughs> for blue there uh 101 Nice, and the double mist. <laughs> oh, double sleep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, this, and the final turn then um, is going to be uh, Plasma, and then it's going to be Scorch and Fever after a Neptune. The Neptune just covers a little bit of damage, and then Scorch and Fever both the final attempt to get that rainbow kill, and we'll see if they get one. Plexa does get it, and Bluza does get it. Very nice. Yeah, it's guaranteed with Garrett. Oh, it is guaranteed, okay. If it's not guaranteed with Isaac, but it is guaranteed with Garrett. Okay. Because Garrett's got more mass power, basically. Okay. Well, there you go. Two exemplary fights. Great RNG across the board. Two rainbow kills. Bonus experience. Very, very lovely. Ooh. Roadblock cross. That's a big one. That is a huge one. The fact that we're so close after Kraken is really insane, actually. Yeah, this is what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. And it's pretty oh, much yeah. been the tour of Golden Sun to this point. Like, Blues have got some pretty terrible stuff early on. Mm. I had a shocker of a Llama Khan. Um, <laughs> and I messed up a Living Statue. Um, but in the end, the RNG just kind of evens out-ish. And we're now basically tied. So game on. This is where it's going to get very fascinating as well, because um, uh, you know when we were dealing with a lot of encounters early on and it was like, oh man, there's a lot of encounters. Um, but the further into the game we get, the less able we are to flee and the more reliant we are on clearing encounters. Encounter knowledge is going to be very, very important for both of, of the runners now to, um, when they see an encounter, immediately know what the answer is to that. Execute that menu perfectly and move on. So the execution, decision making, and reaction to the encounters is very, very important. But also, how many encounters they get does matter. Because as we go later on, the 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 and skipping an encounter can be a 20 plus second time save. Yeah, uh, getting an attack first, plus 20 second save. Depending on. on то есть игра очень, uh, по-моему, yeah, минут 20, короче, плавали тут. То есть игра очень большую часть уделяет этому месту, и тут не то чтобы что-то есть, тут нет ни джинов, ни... Ну, есть какие-то файты, в которых мы решаем там с игротак, но в целом, то есть очень затянутая секция, которая вообще реально никакой ценности нет. He got it. Oh, wow! That's unfortunate. He was like two steps away from the forest and didn't didn't get it. But uh, a Procne Meteor, that is a very hard encounter skip. Didn't get it, but a very hard encounter skip. Did flee and got away, though, so there's, <laughs> there's that as well. 
But Meteor proc me is enough to kill, um... Yeah, let, let me explain why I fled, because normally I wouldn't flee. If I fled, I'd have to use Meteor. If I used Meteor, I wouldn't have it for this fight. If I didn't have it for this fight, I'd have to run around like a... like a dingus for a while, while I got my summons back. Um, so I was like, well... I guess I just have to take the risk here. And it paid off. Yeah, yeah, well. Level 13 reached Gina. for uh, Blues on that side, just learning Ragnarok finally. Yeah, it's always good. So, now we're already level 13. Grand the previous prince. We're grabbing Jinu. We're looking for level 14. That is an annoying fight. That is a yeah. judgment target. There. Um, yeah. so this is the thing. So deciding what to do. Um, rats, that is man. that is if that is fine. So like, if so for example, here. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But the thing yeah. is, looking at looking at um, at those situations there, right? Um, Plexa got bat bat mole. If that was a dirge dirge mole, which is the enemy, like the weird like uh, like the, the the spindly like demon bat things that was that was that um, Plexa, that Bluza had, judgment does not kill a dirge, but judgment does kill bats. So in that situation, Plexa could use judgment, but he would have had to flex if it was dirges. Тут короче очень сложно рассказывать. Тут очень сложно мотивировать. Так как врагу враги неприятно залезли. Неприятная комбинация врагов. И Плекс он просто там все что он мог делать он короче жаль-жаль. что он в принципе многие типы прошел so here we go, rat, rat, and then two jobbies. You can't do meteor there to do that. You have to be meteor. Yeah, so you can't do judgment. You have to do meteor to kill the double dirge. And no guard. Good. Good. No guard. Um, so I should talk about plated rats. Ooh. Plated rats suck something chronic. Um, so there are there's the defend command, which re re reduces damage by fifty percent. There it is. Single golem is a boreas to fill to kill. Very nice. Um, the the armored rats have two types. Armored and plated rats have two types of defense. A regular defend and a flash defend. What's a flash defend, you ask? Well, you know granite? Um, that genie that we've been using to get priority to reduce damage by 50%? Well, flash does that, but flash reduces damage by 90 rather than 50. Um, and those rats can do that. Literally the only encounter in the game, I guess. You need to get a dirge dirge. To be fair, the rat hasn't guarded yet. So yeah, true. We keep, true. keep like, touching wood at that, that stage of time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, our runners are looking for level 14. At level 14, we're going to go to what's called Immortal Isaac, or Gallant Isaac. Um, where Rambo we're gonna... Isaac. <coughs> Rambo Isaac. Rambo Isaac. Well, yeah. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, that's when things go wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rambo Isaac is when everybody else is dead, but Isaac's alive, and you're like, well... Yeah, true, true. <laughs> I don't have a choice anymore. Yeah, so Quake Sphere there on uh for yeah, the uh, uh, ready to go. Um and basically what this means is we're yeah. gonna set up for the next thing uh, the next thing we're doing which is gonna be Colosso. Um and in that fight, Isaac's gonna in that section, Isaac's gonna be going solo. And so we give him all of the uh, all of the Venus Ginny. He's gonna be doing yeah, really really more than level 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 so we're gonna give all of the Venus Ginny over to Isaac. Like when Kazal so was at deep, which I'm the one that's a 150% uh, stat bonus to the, the, the base stats, I believe. Um, oh, hello, that's one dead. Um, this kind of helps. Blue X with our mind in the way, it's a bit more annoying as well. Um, but yeah, this is essentially what, 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 what that means Just, is Isaac yeah. won't die from stuff as easy, he's nowhere near as squishy, so we don't have to take the fight, so we can just run away and hope it works out in our favor. I am so nervous about this. <laughs> it's scary because like you, if people die, that's fine. And there comes a point when actually not healing them is better. Ничего себе там, короче, второго персонажа тут. огребает. Что происходит? У него два персонажа отъехали. Очень больно поступили. Rambo Isaac fears, and we're getting pretty close to Rambo right now. So much so that Plexi just saved. God. Might come in handy. <laughs> oh my! God. 
Oh my lord. <clears throat> so both players are now in um, in Gallant Isaac. Gallant. Um, so we're going to be going to the the the, uh, the depths of Alt Miller Cave to find this uh, this little puzzle. Blue, green, white, yellow, red. From left to right is the puzzle. order of the stones on this screen. And basically no, whenever it shows the top orb, White is center, that sucks. You want white to be second. Um, and the second one will be... In principle, the pattern is obvious for runners. They just need a combination. After two, the secret is revealed, and we're going to be finding a Lemurian draft. Is a special potion that has is from the springs of Lemuria, yes, a legendary right, location where alchemy still flows, and it keeps um, it keeps you youthful and young. Um, Babai or Barbie is the um, and, and, and that's not and I'm not saying Bobby there, Americans. I'm saying Barbie as in B A B I, and not and not Barbie either, Mister <laughs> Mr. Bluther. Плекса там уже возвращается, да? Я говорю Бабай, просто чтобы сделать это, потому что... Возвращается в начало, да? Тем временем Блюсер гоняет там, начинает уже приступать к этому пазлу. Бабай говорит много, давайте пойдем. Оу! Бабай говорит много здесь. Он говорит много, потому что он около 475 лет. Мы не говорили об этом достаточно. Что, НПС, который выходит в тебя? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Jerry. There's only one Jerry, man. Jerry and, uh, yeah. and Olsen. Anyway. Don't forget about Terry. The little girl in uh, mm -hmm. Lala Vero. Mm -hmm. That can mm -hmm. possibly oh, yeah. do something for us. Yeah, yeah. I'm running out of Terry. Перебирают всех на в игре. Говорят, кто там самый прикольный, там Терри или Боби. У Блюсера там нежелательно, Энкаунтер, но типа... Tasty Lemurian water, and Lumpur's like, you know what? I like this. And what Babai did was stole a ship and stole a draft of Lemurian water from Lemuria and sod it off with eternal life in his hand. He thought thought to create an empire that would last forever, and so he has done just that. He is really, really old, and he is talking a lot, and. He is basically trying to maintain his uh, his um, his empire. And the older he's been getting, the less draft he has left. He's been rationing the draft a little bit more. But he waited too long between um, sips, and this time collapsed before he, he could reach there. Despite the fact that we already solved the puzzle, we actually need to do that first cutscene where he tells us how the puzzle works before we get the actual puzzle. Um, and this music is the sound of cutscenes. My God. Um, so yeah, this this is going to go on for a while. So I mean, I hope there are some donations to read because you've got plenty of time, Sam. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a fifty dollar donation from anonymous. No comment, but thank you so much for that generous donation. Um, we also have a five dollar donation from a VC. Get down. Can you let the commentator guy know? Yeah, no, it's a very good Such a great job explaining the mechanics of the speed run. Yeah, it's just terrible. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Also, we do have some bad jokes. Even if you are ready for that, we have a five dollar donation from Carthus Rose that says, "Came for the golden sun, stayed for the golden pun." Great stuff, guys! Thank you to all involved. We've got a ten dollar donation from Get Dug Don. Today, my son asked, "Can I have a bookmark?" And I burst into tears. He's ten years old and still doesn't know my name is Brian. I'm so sorry, Brian. Um, we have a five dollar donation from Just Dade. When Sam asks for dad jokes, it is my job to deliver. Did you all hear about the toddler psychic that robbed a bank? It was very strange, and now the police are out looking for us, small, medium, at large. I am so sorry. Um, we have <laughs> we have a ten dollar donation from Kumiko. When the lifeguard did reach the hippie, what did the hippie reply with? Namaste. 
<laughs> oh, that is very good. That both of those were very good. Well played. I uh, I gotta say, it took me a minute to get the first one, the bookmark one. Low IQ over here. That one, that that was quite good as well. It was but good. Kimiko's, uh, yeah. Kimiko's duo of the, the hippie and the sure and filing those ones away. Very nice. Very good. I didn't retreat uh, I out. Think yeah, you didn't. Congrats. I know. Hey. Um, I'm going to go Death Wolf because eh, Who are you? one of us has to. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, one of us has to. <laughs> I, yeah, I honestly like... should, but I don't want to. It never no, works. You're, yeah, you're, you're fine. No, no, no. I don't think I'm going to do that. Don't think <laughs> I will. So, yeah, you can see that there is still a lot of conversation going on. Um, yeah, it's nuts. Um, there will be a time when, just even if there was, even if there was like a five-minute disparity between these two, they would be in the same cutscene coming up because of how long it is. Um, these are the longest cutscenes in the game out, out, outside of the ones in the intro. So I was talking about how they're. Кстати, ну, если не считать интро, это самая большая минута. There's two ways. We we, we want to go back to Tolby. So after we came off the boat, say we, I'm not running. Uh, but after Bluezer and Plexer got off the boat, they tagged Tolby as their last um, village to go into. Because what Plex is going to do is he's going to так, uh, чё, Plex, uh, uh, back to the Toby Sanctum because it's okay. Отлетел, но это план, короче. Okay, no, no, no retreat oh. to the power bread. Oh, 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 oh. oh No, I, don't, um, I am getting it. I am getting it. It's just too laggy to get it right now. If I get it later, there's no lag when I pick it up. Interesting. And I'm going to go because he's up the top, yeah. Yeah, it, there's the NPCs no, no. in in Toby in general. They add too much yeah. lag. So the point here is that I only have two waters of life, and I believe Blue, you've selected three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been burning them left, right, and center, so I'm, I have to go to Tolby here. No, but what the great, if you don't have to be there, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to be passing right by the graves anyway, so I'll just get it right then. So I'm still getting it, don't worry. Save the power bread. And in principle, we need to go there. Um, so yeah, this is Tolby. Uh, Tolby. Well, this is Colossal. 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 И просто побежать, короче. Довольно прямолинейно. Без дизворка, короче. So yeah, every character got revived upon entering. So this is why this is why it didn't matter that everyone died after the death war. Um, so we're just gonna put anyone into the stands. Does not matter who's in the stands. In principle, it's all just that. Because we're just gonna skip the things anyway because we're fast enough to clear and get to where to. The guys here, where the characters revive. Because they're really slow. Automatically. Um. So Tolby, sorry, Colosso. Sorry. Colossus so was three rounds. Um, in order to progress through the game, you need to win the first two rounds. We're going to throw the third, spoilers, we're going to lose the third and final round against Navampa. We have to beat two soldiers first, Azart and Satrage. By getting to the finals, you've already impressed Babai. If you win, you gain an extra item called the Lure Cap, which increases the encounter rate. But if you lose, you've still impressed him, and the game still continues. But you need, you need to make sure you make it to the finals. Most important thing. You know, if the lure cap had the opposite effect, where it like reduces the damage, I wonder if we'd go for it. Yeah, probably would. Yeah, probably would. Challenge. We might. Depends how much the encounter. You know, короче, два из трех хотя бы надо. Yeah, imagine like getting all the skips later on. That'd be amazing. Это это изян будет. Jesus. Okay. If you've ever played um, oh. Mario Tennis uh, on GBA, you might remember the power shot grinding. Where do you think they learned it? This music is also very rem reminiscent of that music as well. Um, so fun fact as well, this entire map, the left side and the right side, is all there. 
The right side's there as no, well. It's, it's not. all like, it's, no, it's isn't not. It? It's I'm not. pretty sure. I I thought you showed you not. showed it. <laughs> I you, showed you, it to Black Void. I never saw that. I'm pretty sure. I remember. I remember watching you show the whole thing. Interesting. No, no, it's 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 really funny because we all thought it was always there because he's doing the movements that you would do if you were on the left hand side. And so one day I just like no clipped over there to have a look at what's happening, and he's running around mimicking our inputs in the void. It's really funny. Hi, oh, that's really weird. I seem to remember you being out. I'll, I, I'll, I'll I, tag I you. I'll tag you. Off. I have that's really funny. I remember, I remember, I remember you. Well. I remember you running right, and it did, maybe it's not it's void, but it's like there is a little bit. It's not a, there. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit, but most of it is void. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, very interesting. Как можно, короче, okay, cool. As are, we're gonna start by using the oil drop. Пропустить вообще все. Good job, mate. Куда? Follow up with the spire just to make sure. Another. Сделать так, чтобы игра нас вообще не читала. Что мы делаем? Defend again. Wow. Немного сломать управление. And then we're gonna use ground. And then, and then we've done enough damage now that we can just follow up with a judgment. If he doesn't defend again. Uh, cool. That's Azar down. So these these are new strats by setting only um, Azar, uh, granite and uh, vine. Короче, we can force it. No, no, we need to do one more. We force it so that we can do damage. So we're going to do. And we, in principle, what what flex it was. And then flip. And then you're still in uh, your tier two class because you still have two Ginny up. Then you ground to get judgment ready, and you can still out turn him. Very, very close. Um, now there are ways to lose about to change. We like to call this. We like to call this place. Um, time Rosso. Um, the tier two Брюсер, короче, ждет бота, чтобы он на построллер на допе. У тебя в конец приходит и убирает оружие. И мы, короче, угасим дорога. I blame you on that one, Blue. You didn't have to say anything. It would have been fine. <laughs> it actually wouldn't have been fine. RNG would have been fixed, but still. Oh my god. Prince Go. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, plus 40 it's seconds. Primer. The... Flex are trying to get the god instant climb. Yeah, I, I can't do it. The down-ups are impossible, guys. They're absolutely impossible. Короче, у Плекса проблема, он не может делать э, быстрое карабкание по стене. I saw okay. I saw 75 HP and and I saw 74 damage. I was like, ah, oh, this is fine. Что-то блюсер, короче, на подичах на на юло просто. Мог бы вообще быть очень сильно за это наказан, но нет. Okay, he's a bit different, right? Because he has a. Both enemies have. And there's an oil drop first for Azar before he gets to the heal. There's a smoke bomb. Attack, smoke bomb attack is the perfect outcome. So this is good so far. Um, what's going to be turn three? Attack, let's go. Let's go. Nice rainbow as well. Nice win. So it's just completely okay. meaningless. Так он выбрал, что начал потерял пару раз. Плекса, all Плекса and Плуза, all Плекса and Плуза. Плекса сильон. And move on, which can be a lot harder than, it, <laughs> than you might think. No, так ли он сильон как гонщик? Как раннер, который может подстраивать под разные ситуации. 100%. Вот этому и узнаем. 
what we mean by this is uh, November has three items: smoke bomb, nut, and then sleep bomb. He only has one nut, um, but if he uses sleep bomb, he's like, basically he, we, we want we want him to kill us. All he has to do is, is, is attack us twice. That's it. That's all he has to do. But somehow that's impossible. <laughs> it's so impossible. A really quick announcement here. We are going to be switching over hosts. So mm -hmm. my name is Sam Without a Plan. It's been an honor to host for this incredible race here. And I'd like to introduce uh, Zena Deer. Oh, How are we doing today? Thank you, Sam. Indeed. Thank you for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much indeed for uh, well, hanging out, out with us and reading those donations. Yeah. Very, very lovely yeah. to have you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome in, Zeno. Hope you're having a good time. Yeah. Now I have to follow that up, so I'm very yeah. excited. <laughs> so <laughs> so it'll, it'll all be good. Um, Hopefully there's more dad jokes yeah, ready to go. <laughs> uh, we, we are going to, after this section, we're going to have like a 90,000 year cutscene. So, you know, there's going to be plenty of time um, for you to crack on and... Um, you know, lull our our yeah, audience but... into a, a, a calm state with that very uh, velvety yeah, yeah. voice of yours. Gonplexer, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Gonplexer. Sir Dr. Mr. Plexer. First Speed Lord, Grand Master of Going Faster. Don't do it. Ooh. You might... L go on, Plexer. Come on, man. Yeah. There we go. Validation. <sighs> Yeah, basically, if, uh, if if loser doesn't do that, I'm not having a lot of PBs. Just FYI, dude. <laughs> no, I just. Of course, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. You'll probably never get another one. So, in fact, on the whole, the ключевая механика игры, но Короче, игра там что-то разнообразное, как мы это здорово. Тем более для портативной игры. Это прямо крутые. After after us, but not getting a sub two Manticore, getting a two forty five means I had a blistering old Nola. Yes, you did. I can back. confirm that by being close to you when we started, and <laughs> that we're not here. being yeah. close to you now. Yeah. What is this zero encounters from ground? <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? What? Like I've never seen that. I've Same. never I seen that. I, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's probably possible, but it's probably like a one and a half, like fifteen hundred or something. Okay. Um, so this is the moment this where we better this get this. Oh, third time. Easy. Right. Look at this guy. Um, Ooh, this is a great cutscene where, where, where Garrick is trying to reprimand Isaac for being like, "I'm fine after that fight." He's like, "No, you're not." And then I, Ivan just turns around and says, like, says "Shut up, Garrick!" Like twice. Um, and Garrett apologizes. We, 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 we really do. We are very mean to Garrett. We are very mean to Garrett. He sometimes deserves it. The reason no, we we've like, all been on. We, we've all been on runs where Garrett has saved the day. Let's be real. Yeah, we have. We have. The reason Garrett gets a little bit of like a, a hard rap is because like he's statistically one of the weakest characters in the game for their for their role. In this game, yeah, of, if you remember at the beginning, I mentioned that, that the damage formula is a pack minus percent divided by two, which means that two Rando, Rando, points Rando, but is one more damage. damage. But take oh, no. is eight extra HP. HP is a more important tanking stat yeah. than anything else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, let's go. Okay, that was okay. Oh, that's that's stop, that's stop, uh, yeah, so HP is the most important tank. And as the tank, Garrett's meant to be a tank. He's nowhere near as powerful as Isaac. Isaac is, you know, a, a sledgehammer. Um, and Garrett is not. He's like a squeaky hammer. 
Um, but he's also not very tanky because all of his tank stat is put into his defense. But the defense doesn't do that much, doesn't make that much of a difference. His HP isn't that. Well, I'm sure he has more HP. I think. Uh, it's close enough. But it's like it, he doesn't fulfill the role with the right. He fulfills the role, but with the wrong stat. Um, and his attack isn't very good. He's not the strongest with magic either. So he's in a bit of a weird, weird position. So yeah, bit of a strange character. Anyway, Baba is talking. So uh, Zeno, uh, do you want to? introduce yourself properly um say hi to everyone and if you've got any donations fire away we got the time absolutely so hello friends my name is zenadir you can call me zen i will be hosting for this run and the following and let's kick it off with a fantastic uh donation with a dad joke here just for you all this is five dollars from ogre four nine eight that says dad joke what does it take uh... to make an octopus laugh ten tickles <laughs> <laughs> Very well played. No more well played, no less. <laughs> Eleven, and it's just not funny. It's like, <laughs> 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 yeah, like it's just me. Two times, three times, Oh, you, you got time, Zen. Oh, you got time. <laughs> you got time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you got time. <laughs> oh, you got time. <laughs> Here is five dollars from Coltergeist that says, "Have to donate during Golden Sun." Will we be seeing the Star Magician? Wait, sorry, wrong game. Uh, good luck, Plexa and Bluezer, and happy twentieth anniversary to Golden Sun. Oh yeah. Cheers. That's Col tomorrow. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So Golden Sun turns twenty on the first of August. So. This is kind of a happy birthday to Golden Sun. So I think we need to have this on this particular day of all days. Yeah, let me just shout out the Golden Sun Reddit for those people who are still here. Um, check check them out. They're doing a 20th anniversary celebration over the next uh, day or so. Lots of Golden Sun content coming out of there. Um, give give them a, a subscribe or follow the the discussion that's happening. Join their Discord if you like, and you can see a ton of cool Golden Sun stuff coming out of there. Um, I, I've been told to be excited, so I don't know what that means, but we'll see what that... I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I may chip in myself with something, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure something out. Alright, I have a $5 donation here from... Adelir TM, who says, Why does the leader of Tolby now stay away from the ocean? Because nobody likes having shrimp on the bobby. Oof, bobby. <laughs> that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oof is the best response I could have asked for. Atelier's great. Hey, Atelier. And Coltergeist as well, he's, uh, he's following us from afar. He's uh, always commenting on my YouTube videos, so glad you can make it, dude. Alright, I'm gonna pick up that power bread that we were talking about a while ago. Uh, there's lag if you do this reveal before this, for some reason. There's none if you do it afterwards, it's like super nice. Yeah, after Colossus is over, everyone, all of the tourists are our phones, so. I think we have enough time here for me to inform everybody of the amazing donation incentives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for Absolutely. it. So I've seen several of these amazing puns here. You guys are putting your uh, donations in the right place, but let me remind you that uh, coming up, we do have Job Simulator, all jobs, and you can put some of your money towards the Bouncy Job mod, where Pathetic will showcase one of the jobs while having the Bouncy Job mod enabled. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but for some reason, it sounds very entertaining. So if you don't meet that goal, I'll be very upset. Uh, we are at $789.95 of 1000 We're very close. We can definitely make it. And there are many other donation incentives that we can start putting our money towards as well, including the uh, Super Mario 64 drum cover, or the uh, Dark Souls All Bosses, the ending choice, which is the Dark Lord, or uh, To Link the Fire. I'm a big fan of To Link the Fire, but I guess that's just me. 
Okay, we're getting to our next desert as well. Um, this is Suhala Desert. Uh, in this segment, there's a variety of encounter skips you can get between... If you might remember again at the beginning when we were running between Kolymar and Bilibin, um, there are chances for encounter skips. We had the same thing here in Suhala. Um, up to like seven encounter skips for this particular area, plus a few more encounter skips afterwards. Skipping encounters here is massive. Um, we are also going to be setting up for another retreat glitch, so in order to force this, we're going to do a couple of things. Um, we're going to be, uh, oh, okay, we're going to go for the judgment here, actually. It looks like Lex is doing something a bit different here. Um, other than, like, you, what, you, what, what, what we can do is do a Quake Sphere setup to, like, basically cast as much as possible and, like, drain um, Isaac's PP again, just so we can do a retreat glitch. Uh, but it looks like it might have to be a little bit different. Ground on yeah, the right. I'm taking cues from Bluezer on this one actually. Blue has been doing this strat for a while and I've been looking at it and being like, actually this makes sense. Quakesphere is nice for the consistency, but at our level, just getting lucky and it being fast is just better. And I should have used Boreas. So yeah, thanks Blue for the strat, I appreciate it. It actually wasn't my idea, uh, it was Kaz's idea. Oh, thanks, Cause, for the idea. Well, I, well, I used it? to do this as well. I guess yeah, it's really prop me. Yeah. I'm pretty, yeah, as I said, I'm pretty sure this is like how it always was. And yeah, I, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the, the proc knee is what makes it safe. This thing's got an ability called Ward, and Ward basically reduces the damage that our summons deal, which is just not good for us. Um, so we try and. Uh, well, before, I wouldn't throw in the procne and you'd just be sad if it uses water and then it gets an extra action off and you're just really, really, really not having a good time. Was that a skip? Yes, I think yes it was. was. That is one of the harder skips in this space as well. That's very, very nice. Did you get a skip as well, Blue? I did. Yeah, big skip. I got the impossible the skip. Yeah, he got the one inside from, uh, to, from Lizard 2-3. Two two to to yeah. mm. It's a 10% chance there. Okay, uh, it's going to be going down. Um, so we, I should have mentioned earlier, we completely forgot to mention it. Um, after we got Hail, um, you might remember there was that Mercury Jitty we got earlier. We, we then went, went around the side of Caragol Sea to grab Ground. Ground is a uh, priority Jitty that when used, removes an opponent's turn from the map, right? If they have one turn or two, you can get rid of one of those actions. They only get one action or no actions in, in per turn. That's incredibly important. Um, there is only one more Jinny we're gonna get. You, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, and that's Flash. Flash is silly. Flash is like broken. Flash is broken. Uh, Flash, of course, is 90% damage reduction, so if an enemy is going to deal 200 damage to you, you're only going to take 20. And enemies can deal that much damage to you at the end of the game. And if you look at our HP totals, no one's surviving that. So Flash is pretty much one of the reasons we can win this game. Um, especially at, at this level, ground definitely comes in handy as well, especially yeah. with bosses that take two turns, being able to mitigate one of those turns is pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to move ground over and set ground onto Isaac. What this allows is for a very, 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 very nice kill. We're going to go uh, Boreas with Mia, ground and then Procne with Ivan. By making the, um, the natural casters cast these, it's enough damage for us to get the kill with just two if you don't have it, If you don't have ground on Isaac, you have to do ground with someone else, and you have to do Judgment and Boreas, which is overall slower. So we you can also do a strat. I, w I was considering doing Quake Sphere there because Quake Sphere would allow me to drain my PP, but I'm just gonna play a little bit uh, risky. Hmm. So, what's a little risk in a race like this? So, what the chill is exactly. So ground and flash are going to be set at all times. So essentially, depending on, on the situation, if there's, there's a situation where we can just, you know, use ground and take off the one turn from an enemy that is going to be alive. So for example here, the Brutal Troll is, one of them's going to die to Judgment, the one on the left, but we ground the right hand side one because Mia is slow enough, the Brutal Troll will get his turn, and it won't, oh actually Mia out, 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 out turned. Mia out turned, yeah, it's not guaranteed I don't think. Yeah, I think, I, th I think that one's as well. Um, but essentially there will be situations where Flash is going to be safer because not enough people, like, more enemies are going to get a turn, so it's just safer oh, to Flash, and there might be times where it's safer to, um, 
ground or faster mm -hmm. to ground instead. So because the flash an animation is quite short, quite long. Um, so that's what that's you that's can do to like, you know, mitigate that. It's pretty good. Uh, here we go. Yeah. So intentionally letting this thing have an action so that I can drain PP. Mm -hmm. Double boulder beast, very nice. Simple Boris will fill that, and only one. It was, no, that was two encounters. Yes. Um, that's not bad though. Uh, the game, the big skip on the two to three lizards. Yeah, it's, very it's nice. basically an average Sinhala. I got yeah. I got the same number of skips that I normally get. I don't know why I did this. I'm pretty, sure you, you, I'm pretty sure you can do that with judgment on either, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm getting you confused with the thing later on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, can, okay. you can skip an encounter to through Hollygate. Um, as though I was saying, we are preparing for my retreat, as uh, Bluzer is entering his flash fight. Bluzer is one of those strange runners who does uh, flash on Gara, I think. Um, <laughs> no, everyone has a different approach and there's like tiny differences here and there it essentially changes up situations there is a, a couple of bonuses and better options um, there's one particular enemy like that one normal he has um, flash set because of the extra elemental power that comes with the setting oh, and Ginny. Um, we have a different setup for that if um, we don't have flash set we have uh, so Plexa and I use flash on Mia and have ground on Isaac. Um, that means that Mia's in a faster class, she has drench and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Isaac, Isaac stays in base class. That looks like an encounter skip for Plexa. He just needs to move up half a tile and not get an encounter. Nice. Encounter skip into Hullegate. Um Cool. Venus Lighthouse entry. This is a really, really cool thing. Um, and one of a very unique. Uh, cool thing. We're going to just re-enter from the right-hand side because we are going to cast a In order to access Venus Lighthouse properly, we need to go into Venus Lighthouse 1 and activate a, um, activate a button to create a pathway from another lighthouse to Venus Lighthouse proper. Um, what you will be noticing is that every everywhere we move, Plexa is casting mm. Reveal. Yeah, if you remember when we were in Lamaca Desert, I was mentioning how Reveal actually cool. places another map on the top of the current map you're on. It just, it just um, like, put, puts a new, ma a new map layer o over the top. Um, when they were localizing this game, this is a, um, like an English version thing only, I think. It, though it's not in the Japanese version. Um, what's happening here is that when we have the reveal map placed over the top the encounters or and the steps taken to um, accrue to get your next encounter are not activated on the overlain map of reveal because i think when they were localizing the game this is one of the things that they sorted out first and just like like oh like just didn't sort that out and they never went back to it later on in in like, when localizing so there are no encounters in venus lighthouse one are we going to get blue first we did not here's a chance to catch up now. Uh... <laughs> uh, genuinely, it's a 14 that, second time loss. Two, I think it's 12. 14, 11. That's not pleasant. There's nothing yeah. to feel about it. The, the yellow path is like legitimately three to five minutes slower than the blue path. So there's really no no choice. So we're gonna activate the blue path and then retreat back to the right hand side. Out we go. Can we get can skip all the way to Lalevero? It was not a text first. You are a ballsy man. Uh, Lalavero got absolutely slammed by Saturus Minardi. The, the guards were all like, hey, you, stop. And they were like, and then just walked straight past him. Um, so the Lalavero and guards are. Uh, Having a bit of a nightmare. Oh, uh, um, so I'm a for Dilema. Does uh, Bluzer get his encounter skip? Do your chest. Get odds from here. I mean, if he doesn't, I'll be upset. Oh, this your way chest. Uh, he pretty much it from there with the half tile. <laughs> that was Ooh, a menu. Close. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. You can't skip your boat. Hold on. It's ah, fairly unlikely. Man, it's man, only like a 30% chance to get that one, I think. No, not I didn't even. I never 35. used to do it until you 
Just mentioned that I was being dumb for not doing it. <laughs> you just did the task jump for the hell of it there, didn't you? I did, yes. It actually lost me time because I went to the shop, but it was worth it because task jump. Uh, okay, so this is the road to Babai Lighthouse. So um, the reason Babai was doing Colosso was so that he could find warriors strong enough to go back out to... He's building a lighthouse to see Ash, he's seeking to go back to Lemuria because he doesn't want to die. Um, and yeah, he needs warriors who are strong enough, so this is why he's building his lighthouse. Um, what on earth? <laughs> um, <laughs> That wasn't an attack first, was I didn't see attack first. That was, that was. Oh, okay, okay, that one was, okay. I didn't see, you're on, so you're on certain we, frames on Discord, so uh, yeah. I, I do literally yeah, yeah, no, no, attack first. We show um, much this point is that you also have This is the part here. of the game where attacks first no. matter. That would have been a 25 the, second encounter no, here, which is obviously, obviously huge. Um, would have been 20 seconds swing the, against me. Uh, but attacks yeah, first instead, really and that's just a three second encounter. And uh, you really want to get an encounter skip in this dungeon? Getting the encounter that early means I probably won't. Uh, so getting an attacks first is almost as good as getting a, an encounter skip. So can't really complain about that one. Um. Cool. So, also, there was a, there's a potentially encounter skip as well going through Babai Lighthouse. Um, you'll notice at the beginning that Flexa ran onto this on into Babai Lighthouse at the entrance uh, and ran back, then yeah. retreat glitched and walked back in, and it skipped him inside the dungeon. That walk up the strip to enter Babai Lighthouse is enough distance that you can mitigate a second encounter. You need to get two two lucky um, encounters. It was quite an early one because it was down on the bottom floor. In order to have a really good chance, you need to get your first encounter either just before the jump down or down here. Even then, I've still got a second encounter. Um, but yeah. Yeah, doing doing the skip get, doing the skip tilts the odds in your favor that you will skip it more often than not. So as silly as it looks, it's worth going for. Just for a chance. Because you'll be exactly. be very thankful you save 25 so the whole thing is as well, by the way, is that there, there was a, a young woman under... Let, well, I'm not going to say Babai's care, but... Um, a, uh, it's under Babai Ferran's had a care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ferran's, Ferran's care, and then Babi just was like, well, I'm going to take you. <laughs> yeah. um, her name is Sheba, and she's awesome. Um, she's a Jupiter Adept as well, and she has the power to use Reveal... Well, I mean, well... Um, She's a Jupiter Adept, and basically, uh, Saturus Minardi like, took her because they need a Jupiter Adept for um, access to the Jupiter Lighthouse. They don't obviously have one just yet, so they needed a Jupiter Adept, they found one, so they nicked her. Um, obviously, Phoenix is a, a Venus Adept, so obviously he can help them. Get to the the but that is a nasty fight. Um, Manticore King dies to a targeted... Um, uh, judgment onto the death head. Uh, to 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 me and the man to king instead, and then follow up with um, Boris anyway. Like, there's, there's I Griffins and orc lords go away. Um, so no encounter skip. No encounter skip for Flexa there. Two encounters down to uh, Tunnel Ruins. Will he go for this? Don't go for it. The person who did the task was like, no one should ever go for this. Like, I could barely get it as task. Вот тут уже повеселее, тут пазлы пошли. Not really a thing in this game. Тут есть забавные штуки, которые представляют собой такие жлоба, и по ним просто. Ранее раскатывают. Вот вот эти вот тоже пазлы очень прикольные. Ну, набираешь воды. Э, дождик там облачко делаешь. И открывается проход. 
Что-то Плекса немножко запутал на пазле. Ну-ка. Он как-то более оптимально хотел подвинуть что Но на деле он зафейлил. Под падруйду. И пазл с статуями. Конечно, воображение у разработчиков уже достаточно интересное, потому что столько пазлов в игре и все достаточно уникальные. Выглядят по-разному там. Эффекты у них там. Другие. Хорошо сделано. But it's really just a puzzle with a configuration of four elements, with the sun being in the middle, representing the golden sun. Like, okay. No, it was like if they did align with the lighthouse, it would be like, aha, it is actually the lighthouse. It's how amazing. It's just a puzzle with some configuration. I'm just an oversight. That's what I'm thinking. Could be. Could be. I'm rolling. I'm rolling with that. I believe my boys. What was my entrance time, by the way? И вот такой маяк. Да, маяки, короче, нам очень важны. Вот, да. а он, кстати, его пошли у Плекса Варфа. Да, используют его Варф. Обузит значение... Нулевую ману, короче, и обилку возвращения. И благодаря этому он может варпу прохожить. Очень много скипы. Нормально там энкаунтер, он уже защиту на всякий случай прожимает сразу. Враги очень толстые, да, больно кусают. Но в принципе с обилкой, да, очень хорошо, почти не дамажит. Вот этот прикольный пазл. Надо так сказать, недостающие детали Главное, короче, что будет этот подальше. Да, блюсер все еще где-то на минуту Вот, он только добрался до вот этой сети. Вот 
The sand itself, no encounters. This puzzle screen, no encounters. They learnt about puzzle screen and, and encounters and they when they made Beyond the Beyond. This out of the game. Complex решает большой пазл. Вырывает encounter. Ground. Drench. Meteor. Yeah, so with with Blues' setup, this encounter is a kill just straight with a meteor. But because I don't have flash on Garrett, he doesn't have five extra elemental power, so I can't get the kill there. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, so that's one half of the lighthouse proper. We're gonna go and do the second one. On the way up, we're gonna be grabbing the продолжаем проходить этот маяк. The strongest weapon in the game, um, and it has an awesome unleash called Titan Blade, which saved me a lot during my. Конечно, Блюсеру не очень везет. Эти энкаунтеры идут. Хотя, в общем-то, и и плех энкаунтера вот. То есть они оба уже не настолько лупят, как хотелось бы. And also, the increased attack is lovely for when we when we do use flint. It is a bit of extra damage, but the elemental power is the main thing. Very very helpful. We do grab it, and it's not that hard to get because it's on a um, on a. Sand Очень sand большой экран, кстати, под конец. Healing is not necessary too much for this because if we are going to be using flint, we are going to be fighting and we need to defend. Flash is what we need. И расширенная версия вот того пазла. They have killed more runs than you would believe. And not not just like time loss kill, but like actually, GG, you're back in Lalavera reset. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're just straight dead. So, the run is this this race is far from decided. И говорят тренера, что типа еще ничего не решено. Да, ра очень дал ран очень далек от того, чтобы поставить там все точки. То есть еще будет и рандом и такие проблемы, да. Но в принципе осталось то не так уж и много по времени. Я надеюсь, что они заполучаются, когда управляются. Спасибо, Спасибо. So thank you so much for that donation. Keep in mind all of the amazing prizes as well as like the new. We actually just now all of them sold. There's a new safety Nintendo Switch Pro controller made by Spicy Frog. Big fan of that one personally. And there's also a Bomberman Perler Bead Sprite, which is only a minimum donation. No, Pooky, we survive. 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 We
And so I got wiped. <laughs> and lost. Определенные триггеры. На бой, в принципе, есть сетапы на скипы, но они не работают, надо обязательно триггернуть файл. И вот уже типа герои там на самой вершине маяка. Ну, по крайней мере, на экране плексы так оно происходит. Блюсер там продолжает пазлы решать. Ну, кстати, возможно, на последнем файте. Не на последнем, но вот ну, на бусфайтах, короче, в конце игры очень много будет решено. Исход вообще мало предсказуем. Тут, в принципе, Блюсер немного менеджер, чтобы раскидать обилки джинов, а тем временем Плек смотрит вот эту сцену на вершине уже маяка. Так, упал пол пауки очень больно. Хорошо делает. Ну, мы уже Давай, Блюсер, догоняй. Ну, в общем-то, там автоскроллер не то, чтобы можно было где-то пройти. Но я думаю, Блюсер справится. И, конечно, Блюсер подлетает на крышу. И его ожидает там большая катсцена. Лекса тут сражается со злодеями. Я не помню, не уверен, по-моему, их типа не надо тут убивать или надо убеждать. Вот. Но, короче, с ними был какой-то файт, где они быстрее, чтобы они тебя победили. А здесь наоборот. Да, скорее всего, наоборот. Но они приставочие ребята, на самом деле. Закидываем там гранит, чтобы они станились, там не могли двигаться. Пока что враги без особых там прикол накидывают, в принципе все идет по плану. 
Как же быстро э, блюсер перекидывает обилки постоянно туда-сюда, короче, вверх с пилами, с джинов. Все еще идет вот этот пуспай. Фликсы там бафается. Да. Он, он заранее, короче, ревайву прожимает на определенные клетки. Но типа, там никто не умирает, там все. Но он, он типа, все тапит так, чтобы ревайву прожимались, типа, сразу после того, как кто-то отлетает. Но, типа, никто не отлетает, поэтому И вот у Плекс все пати полностью выхилилось в этом бою. И это приятно, начинается, когда, когда ты втягиваешься в пайт и ты захилил полностью, это уверенность, да, Джаджмент очень сильно урона нанёт. Одного из двух боссов Слили остался Сатурос. И вот сейчас и Сатурос, и Плекс пробил. Да, Блюсер только начал этот файт. Ну, посмотрим, как Блюсер справит. Надеюсь, что неплохо. Потому что... Блин, так хорошо Ну, в принципе, сразу бафнулся. Я и вот эти вот ребята, короче, они слились в огромного дракона, вот эти наши враги, которого надо еще раз пойти, очередной фактор, он, кстати, очень лагает местами. Ну, в общем-то, сейчас мы просто все отбедаем. У нас есть... 
flex plays, but it doesn't always work out. I'm gonna go for the типа еще много джинов, и мы начинаем чередовать, а там сжимать все это. И по сути мы просто выжимаем все соки из наших дыма. Все, что у нас есть, стараемся завалить просто количество количество наших джинов, количество наших лопат. И мы просто вот это вот все Just the one. Okay, cool. So that should keep you fairly on pace. We'll have to see what happens here. Okay, she, okay, Minardi's down. The wish comes out. That extra damage gonna help. Okay. Oh, I'm sure. I could have oh. killed with a drench. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's unfortunate. unfortunate. But the, the heal is the heal is more important because you're going. You you would be going into a granite turn. You What this force is, Классика же РПГ, когда вот, очень долго, короче, бьешь одного босса. Забавно сейчас раннеры одни и те же обьют, делают. Одни и те же вещи, короче, на экране. При этом они типа разные боссы. Забавно. Really close race, though. It looks like I mean, Plex is playing this super safe at the end, but you know, I've seen these two run this game a lot. And Сейчас this is not these two, and just always this close. It, it's a fascinating fact. The fact that it's just consistently this close, the ebb, there, is, there, there are ebbs and flows for both runners all the time, um, and it's fascinating to see how it's always back and forth. Um, Blues would like to jump into the final boss fight, as it looks like... Okay, not just yet, another break. Maybe, I think that's the extra turn, so they should be going into the summon turn now, on the off turn. So, we, I, I, didn't, I didn't mention it earlier, but I can mention it, I should mention it now, really. Um, we set, or stood by, All of the Mercury and all of the Jupiter Ginny for this team. Ah, Blizzard, a big captain, is covered. At the same time, just charged the Dragon. The perfect time for Dragon is to do Judgment, boosted Judgment, straight into these two, and then Judgment to finish. Take all the Ginny to get the build. If you get the perfect fight, if you get it broken, though, it does change the situation, so you have to kind of play around that. There's the fight, Fusion Dragon down, GG. Well, that time, count and you're not going to take the turn. Then the next Ginny is going to be played. И снова продолжает, и он победил дракона. А вот Лизер только начал с драконом. Его дела. There's loads of different like variants to the speed of how Fusion Dragon goes, and it's all down to the moves that Fusion Dragon goes for. Uh, by the way, time is not yet. I should mention. Ну Blizzard то же самое будет делать. Он будет тратить на это. Короче, да, надо все, 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 что у Джина есть, те Джина, которые есть, нажать на них типа, как бы, не понятно. И мы его так и бас. Они делают много того, что они делают, чтобы митигать. There was an interesting conversation I had with with Flexi before this about how Golden Sun is very much a game of mitigating time loss rather than going, what is these attacks? This is Golden Sun. У Плюса можно посмотреть наш, короче, маяк, он из проделанных пулиантов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов-тракторов
We'll go for it. We'll do a fast. We'll try the fast strat. Thor. See, this is the same. Just seventeen hundred damage in one turn. Uh, Fury has five thousand HP. By by the way, so it was eight hundred and forty. Eight hundred forty-ish for the first turn, and then it's like one thousand one hundred. And then... He's got exactly 999 left. And it's got a calculator. Yeah. <laughs> Very clean. And then he's going to see it home with one final judgment. There was no break. Um, quartz, judgment, no, ground, the, uh, uh, ground, 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 ground granite, ground meteor. That's GG's as well for Blue. Uh, he's going to be taking home a 334 time on the Fusion Dragon, so just slightly over the 340 mark. 341, I think that's going to be, but um, not bad. Oh, yeah, I mean, for a race, like, oh, to yeah. get that done. Yeah. GG's. There you go. Uh, again, GGs time, is, well played. <laughs> time is not until we get to the very, very end. Uh, yeah, these there's a frame saver people. right here, by the way. If you talk to Odin before you leave, you save a second. So no, you things you. like this, plus the, the menu in position uh, and doing the menu and stuff, like they all add up to frames, and uh, they are significant uh, enough that they do decide run, so it is a part of the sport. Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, a quick summary of the final cutscene there. Um, after lighting the, the Venus Lighthouse, a shockwave is sent through, um, through the continent. Um, no, fact, and I'm Shiva finished, uh, falls off. Uh, the lighthouse and Felix is like, no, I'll save you. And so, um, the, the earthquake causes a path to break away and float off into the ocean, but it also causes an earthquake. And no, no, the, the, the tidal wave comes from Poseidon being like really antsy, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Poseidon's yeah. Just having, yeah, he's just having a, a hissy fit and just throws. Venus lighthouse wakes up Poseidon and then he makes the tidal wave. Yeah. Oops. That wham. And then, then the beginning of TLA starts, where we catch up with what happens after no, the beginning of TLA starting is before I am Vena, um, Felix no, goes with the Venus be... So it's kind of as we're timing, TLA starting, um, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's happening. And then Isaac and Co agree to take the boat with the Black Hole, they take the Lemurian ship, and go out to the Eastern Sea to help try and find them. So that's kind of what's happening. Um, we've got time for some, like one quick final donation before we get we get to the end as well. If there is one, um, yeah. I've definitely got one quick final donation here. It is a ten dollar donation from Range in all caps. Yes, what's up, the minutes. Whoa, good luck, Dad. And that's what we're doing. Thank you so much for that. I'm glad people are excited. Thank you so much indeed. A lot of lot of people you can do save at your game here. A lot of people know that don't know that like, it's just kind of like if you save here you can't do anything, you're just stuck here. So it's kind of weird, but there's some small things here, making sure to get the positioning right on the third beam down from the top. Um, to make sure you get this. One final mash and then the final that then splits this is the final split will be on the final text box, which is Jenner is waiting for us. Slightly less, but yeah. Uh, GG's though, boys. Really, really good race. Really, really good. Like ups and downs throughout, and well, well handled for most situations. So really, really good. Yeah, that was that was super tight through the middle. I just had a god old Miller, and that was kind of the difference. Mm. I was hoping we'd at least be like you know a couple. You're always gonna so the chat. This is very like. These are both very times better than either what we're doing today. Alright, I also renamed it Jenna. So we get fun dialogue on the very last text box. Which is this text box. And time. time. Bought my my PB. Uh, because you waited 3:38 flat. GG's flexer. Congratulations. Uh, GG. 
Oh, but sorry, that yeah, that is a good. ridiculous time. Рано, потому что тут очень мало мест, где То есть очень много всяких там стройлеров, цены, которые ты просто скипаешь сюда. А если ты уже не, нет смысла такой ранг продолжать. And just grinding out runs like a mad lad. He also has a full-time job, by the way. He just doesn't make excuses like I do. I'm like, I'm tired. And Blue's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna get a run in. I just Guys really like insane. Intro. <laughs> I just really like Indra. Please, 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 please follow this man, Blue. He is uh, absolutely... So, показал, показал, доказал, uh, что вот... I learned so much from watching him play. We're, we're cool, but it's so much. Просто... In, uh, being serious though, like you know, you you learn a lot from watching other runners. If you just sit there and only think for yourself or think for, or think, or think about your own stuff, you then then sometimes kind of like, don't see these fringe opportunities or things around. Yeah, you. Know, like, and, uh, and Blue's done a lot of runs to see a lot of. Blue's also that, 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 that kind of runner. Well, the Karabli has been the dialogue, but then he has been I had my time doing these and. Uh, уже в следующую часть. GG's, everybody. GG's, man. GG's. Well played. <sighs> no uh, reloads. No resets. Or, uh... Yeah, your run's valid. Mine's not, so... Whatever. Oh, you, <laughs> you did? Yeah. Forge. Yeah, I, I, I reset forge. the forge, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, yeah. He had level 2, so he had, yeah, he had to save. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Let's go with the song. Well, I... It's good to see you yeah. game. Right. Come out, or an amazing development company. And uh, come join the Discord and learn Golden Sun. Yeah, do that. Alrighty, for the notes for this fantastic match with Pizza and Loser and for Bowie the Hero on commentary, make sure you properly celebrate the 20th birthday of Golden Sun tomorrow on Thursday. Coming up next, we have Chaos Drifter running Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Any Percent on PC just after this setup break. <laughs>